And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Hood Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with 10 lovely ladies, man. Got a great show planned for y'all. Let's get into Let's it. Let's go. All the night in my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to serious. leave? Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my turn. And right, we're back. back. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Shit Podcast After Hours Edition. Quick notes before you get into the show. It's okay, ladies. You can look at the screen right now. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> we got patreon.com slash fresh fit. Get all the behind the scenes content there, guys. Whether it's us kicking out annoying ass girl or maybe a potential altercation at some kind of location here in Miami, which may or may not involve a really popular person. No, I'm just kidding. I'll let you, I'll check let us you out me. over there. Patreon.com slash fresh fit, guys. Also, go ahead. Check us out. We are now on Megaphone, guys. We're no longer on Spotify, Google, and our podcast. We're on Megaphone instead. We have two different channels. One for fresh and fit after hours and then one for fresh and fit. So check us out over there. Links are below. Check us out. Also, go ahead and uh, to our Discord, discord.gg slash fresh and fit, guys. Over there, we have discussions, talks, people from all over the different uh, different parts of the world. Bit the best and, Discord uh, on YouTube, hands down. Yes, Completely free to join. Shout out to y'all, man. Completely free to join. Don't so go ahead and jump in there, man. Uh, but be prepared. It's not for people with fickle f- feelings. They're going to make fun of you in there if, you t- if you're a weirdo. Yep, for also, <laughs> check us out on freshshippodcast.com, guys. Get the t-shirts and hoodies there. All the uh, slogans that you've come to, come to learn and love, such as like, who hurt you? Anytime you state a fact, I'm wearing it right now. Go ahead and check us out. Freshshippodcaststore.com. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right, cool. And then also, guys, go ahead and check us out on Fresh Fit Clips. It's our other YouTube channel. We post three clips on there per day. You might not have time to watch a full-on podcast. No problem. Go ahead and get the best parts of the show on Fresh and Fit Clips. Three per day, man. Ain't nobody else doing that. Got some new thumbnails. Shout three out to Nico. Also, check us out on Fresh Vlog Channel. Guys, for behind the scenes to go to the vlog channel, uh, we did a stream today talking about academics uh, altercation uh, here in Miami. So if you want to see what happened on, on the actual uh, behind the scenes, check it out. 100 kind of way. Let's go. Cool. And then also, guys, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called Fed1811 on there. I break down criminal cases for you guys. The most recent one I did was I broke down the Netflix series Monster J. Jeffrey Dam- Dahmer story. Uh, I went over what was true, what wasn't. We went over all 17 of the brutal murders that he did. And uh, yeah, if you like crime documentaries, you like getting the truth about what the hell is really going on with some of these criminal cases, go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, and I release clips every single day as well. And we're on Anchor with Fed1811. A lot of you guys have been asking for the audio version of the show. So go ahead and check me out over there. It's anchor.fm slash fedit1811. Go ahead, Chris. And ladies, it's me, Diamond Nancy Poxin. Uh, shout out to the ladies for coming on to the panel, for flying into Miami, etc. cetera. Uh, shout out to the team, the office in the back. We got um, Eric on the couch somewhere. There we go. So it's me, Diamond Nancy Poxin on IG. Let's get it. Your shorty's like, oh, God, I'm a camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, she signed the waiver, so. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so without further ado, man, let's introduce uh, the ladies on the panel. So ladies, give us uh, your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and education level. And if you want to, of course, your body count. Your body count. And we'll start right here. <laughs> um, I'm Karen DeVidias. I'm 19. I'm from South Africa. Okay. I am on an exchange year, and I'm starting studying next year. And my dating single status is single. <laughs> she said dating single. Okay, cool. Dating single. <laughs> status. Um, status. And you said you're in co- college right now? I'm starting college next year. Starting. Okay. Cool. Damn. All the way from Africa to Miami. That's Full, crazy. Like, uh, do you do you work? Or you said you're an exchange student or yeah. exchange worker? Exchange worker, student. I but like I work and I study at the same time. And what is the job exactly? I'm an au pair. So it's oh, like okay. a nanny. A nanny. Okay. For rich niggas. Cool. <laughs> All right. That's All right. a yeah, nanny for rich people. Okay, All cool. Right. What about you? Hola. Hola. Como esta? <laughs> bueno, mi nombre es Juliana. Mm-hmm. Tengo 25 años. Okay. Holy shit, can you say it in English? We got it. <laughs> Colombiana. Okay, so Colombia. you're from Colombia. How old are you? Yeah. De la ciudad de Cali. ¿Conoces Colombia? Uh, co- okay. Uh, you? How you say, ¿Cómo se dice ed, age? Uh, Age is I, edad, edad, 25, 25, 25, 25, cool, okay, yeah. that's good, 
<laughs> and then uh, single relationship. Uh, Sugar daddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> She's so crazy. No, soltera. Oh, gotcha. That, single, single. That means single? single. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> she belonged to. Uh, okay. Well, um. She... All right. Cool. What about you? Hi, my name is Milady. I am from Miami. I am a nurse. Wait, nurse? Yes. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 25 and I am single. Okay, highest education level completed? I will be finishing my master's. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, right, so you're in school right now as we speak and, go, and a nurse? Yes. All right, cool. Um, and then for her, what's her highest education level completed real fast? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um... She's probably not gonna. Spanish. All right, Eric, please just step in. <laughs> the, the, uh, just, as expected, her Spanish is trash. Go ahead, ask her what her highest education level completed. Que fue lo más que cumpliste en la escuela. Dime. Que fue lo más que cumpliste en la escuela. El grado. El grado. Yo soy universitaria. University. Bachelor's degree? Or she just went for a year or two? ¿Cuántos años? ¿Cuántos años en la universidad? Cuatro años. Four years. Four. So she has her degree. Yeah. It what in? Uh, in qué? Uh, administration de empresas. Uh, uh, business Office. administration. Oh, business administration. Okay, cool. In New York. All right, cool. Uh, what about you? Yeah, you, you, your Spanish is trash, Miss. I want to be a linguist. <laughs> no, I just find I don't know if she's gonna feel a certain way because certain universities are different than here. That's why I hesitated. Oh, it's fine. A bachelor's degree is a bachelor's degree. It's useless everywhere. All right, what about you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Shannon. I'm 20 years old, and right now I'm in school at North Carolina a and and I'm studying IT. Okay, nice. so full-time student, single, relationship, sugar daddy? Um, right now I'm single. All right. Did you just get out of a breakup? No. Okay, you said right now as if like you just... Oh, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, Live a life, man. Cool. All right. Hi, my name is Bridget. Um, I'm from Miami. I'm 20 six um and i'm single and i went to school i did my associate's degree but i'm a lash artist okay cool cool and, and mm -hmm. you're from originally from where again um i'm from here but my background is cuban ecuadorian okay that's a red flag my friend and you're from north carolina originally <laughs> yeah and then what about you you're from where originally i'm cuban dominican uh, like where'd you go to high school oh high school coral park <laughs> Okay, so you're from South Florida. Yeah. Okay, Red flag. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, and then you said you're from Miami as well, right? Miss yes. Lash Artist? Okay. Yes. And then you're from North Carolina. All right, cool. What about you? What's your name? My name is Christiana Hurt. I'm 27 years old. I own Wealthy College Kid, the number one e-commerce education platform. I'm in a relationship, and I also graduated from UCF for communication and conflict. Cool. Awesome. That's a good resume. All right, cool. <laughs> How long have you been in a relationship for? Uh, 10 months. Okay. Is he also an e-com? No. What does he do? He's a rapper. Oh. Signed. Like, legitimate rapper. She okay. had put signed. Yeah, she had put signed. Rapper. rapper. Signed. Signed. Yeah. Real <laughs> rapper, like, on Pop Smoke's album. He's from New York. Like, Blue check and everything? Yes, yeah, like, legitimate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at his face. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> nice, no, curious. I mean, yeah. You already dropped the who, who he's worked <laughs> with in the album. Someone in the chat gonna figure <laughs> it out. So you might as well just say No, they'll it. figure it out. On point, like, OP. He's from Canarsie. Dusty Locay? No. No, he he just dropped a song with Dusty. They're close. Someone in the chat gonna put it. I already Somebody know. will put it. I'm Someone's gonna put it in the chat. I already I already know Ronsuna? what time it is. He just dropped it. Ron Suno. They just dropped an EP called "Say That." It's stream. It's out. Who right the now. hell is that? Ron Suno on point like OP. Raw Swish and Dusty. They just dropped an EP. Someone in the chat is uh, my. The chat, the chat someone got the chat, me. Yeah, someone in the chat's going. Let, let me see the chat, nigga. <laughs> she gets someone in the, the chat, chat going. No. Uh, uh, somebody said Ross. Where somebody said Busy Banks. Uh, Busy Brook. <laughs> <laughs> is that him? No, his name is on point like OP. Yeah, see, on point like OP. Oh, okay, okay. So that's, oh, that's his, his actual. Name. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought. Okay, I thought it was the name of the song when yeah. you were referring to. Oh, okay, he's, he's a drill rapper from Brooklyn. He's from the Floss, New York. Oh, okay. I never, okay. I never heard. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what about what about you? I like two two G. So me and you might not get along. Uh, no, that's that's the, uh, that's the ops, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to uh, Pop Smoke and them too, though. I like both sides. I'm, I'm in the middle. Both are good. All right. What about you? Um, my name is Miracle. I'm 22 from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I work as a CNA. And I'm wait, nurse. 
a CNA. Yeah. Certified nurse assistant. So <laughs> go on, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm an undergraduate. Okay, I'm so you're still in college. Cool. And uh, dating status? Single. Cool. I'm Mid- assuming y'all two came together. <clears throat> yeah. And both y'all from North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. And you said single, and then you're in college right now. Cool. It's a miracle you made it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you. All right. What Bro. about what about you? Uh, my name is Natalia. I'm from Hungary and I'm 27. I'm doing an exchange year like uh, Karen. And I graduated international relations uh, while I was living in Switzerland. Bachelor's? Yeah. International relations. Okay. Yeah. I have one question for you. Yes. Are you hungry? <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> Chris, I had to join you, bro. Chris, I had to join you, bro. My bad, my bad. What, bro? What? You should be hungry. You Honestly, you can go in some fries, bro. <laughs> after, after I got you. <sighs> okay. Um, Shout out to Chris, bro. And you're, are you in a relationship, single? Um, I mean, I'm seeing someone, but I'm single. Like, Translation, he doesn't measure up all the way, but he fulfills my needs for the moment. If something better comes along, I'll go with him. No, we just haven't talked about what it is yet. Yeah, okay. She, yeah, she, yeah. So I better come along. That's the benefits right there. Your girl, go on, mind the guy. So, uh, all right, cool. So I'll put single-ish. <laughs> all right, cool. What about uh, you? What's your name? Hi, my name's Acklin. I'm 24. I'm from Pennsylvania, but I'm Ugandan. I am also a double master's recipient from Miami Medical. I recently graduated with my one master's in public health, another one in international administration. I used to work for the Department of Health down here in Miami, and now I work at the CDC. Okay, who is right. awesome. the resident? That's a great resume. Thank you. Everybody here is vaccinated, <laughs> boys. <laughs> PhD. Everybody here is vaccinated, goddammit. Oh, man. Yes. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> we got a vax card. Um, and I am also in a relationship. Cool. All right, cool. How long have oh. you guys been together? A couple months. Few, okay. six, plus or minus, if you're going to do a background check. No, fair enough. I'm going to find out he ain't vaxxed and get rid of him. No, <laughs> no, he, got, he got his car before I did. I said, all right. Jim. Okay. There you go. Um, Shout out to Forshina. Cool. So double master's <laughs> relationship. You're for, what part of Pennsylvania are you from? Capital, Harrisburg. Okay. Harrisburg. All right, cool. What about you? My name is Sydney. I'm 18. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm in college. Oh, this Carolina up in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, are you, what are you majoring in? Yeah, and single. Uh, I major in computer information systems, and I have a boyfriend. Oh, okay, shit. how long? Two months. Man, everybody here is freshly in a Damn. relationship. <laughs> okay. You know why? It's because winter time. Yeah. <laughs> Coming uh, season. Yeah, Coming I told season. y'all Coming season. There's a reason why they call it hot girl summer uh, and not hey. hot girl year. It's cold in the streets. Yeah, man. Uh, so in a relationship, uh, you said um, you major in what again in school? You're pursuing your bachelor's, but computer information systems. Okay. Are you like the only girl in there? Mm, that's about three other girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, but it's a majority man, I'm assuming. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Um. All right. All right. So we got people from all different walks of life here. This is good. Diverse panel. We got some educated ladies. Some. I think if we do the state thing here, this will probably do a lot better. And thank all. Thank God, it's a miracle that everyone's here, and we're wow. all hungry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? That's cool, right? Uh, no. No. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Good chats. No. Uh. Sure. Yeah. Uh, who's a single mother slash not with the kids father? Okay, Ooh. who's anyone here, mom? I don't have kids. Don't cap. They're gonna, uh, t- they're, they're gonna tell you, Miss hey. Q. You, you got kids? Yeah. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> you look at her, she'll get pregnant. Uh, all right, cool. Are you with the baby's father? No. No. Where are the okay. kids now? Uh, with their grandma. Cool. All right. All right. Woman is one one. A woman playing with her hair is a sign she's triggered. Don't worry, Myron. I got your back. All right. Thanks, Alvin, Sam. Um, and uh, Chris, from this point forward, what are we going to do? Uh, 20. 20 and up. Okay. So, guys, every single one of these chats are going to be read. Uh, if it came in early, however, from this point forward, we're only going to read 20 and up so that we can get into the show. We got a topic at hand. So, low IQ detector, five bucks from Canada goes, ladies, we know the 304 kryptonite is geography and math, but this is an easy one. Can you name three states? I knew someone was going to ask this. All right. We'll start. Right here with with Miss North Carolina. Three states name in the U.S. Three states, and you can't name Florida, and you can't name a state that someone else named. Go ahead. Okay, three states. Boom. Oh my god, on the live, I'm freezing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so number one is boom. Mm-hmm. What, what's next one? Bam. Bam. Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three states. All right, give us three states, please. Okay, Redeem yourself. Three states. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Tennessee, okay, and then we have um. You're only ten that I see. 
Come on, Pedro. He's even slow. They don't think I'm retarded. You're the first one to go, too, man. Like, yo, this one. Liberty Wayne, I for you to come with. Bruh. Come on, you got this. Come on, Mr. Come on you got this. Okay. And then we have, uh, goddamn. Bruh. <laughs> God damn. God damn. California. All right. <laughs> California. Jesus. California. All right, Miss Double Master. I know you got this one. Oh, Arizona, up. Alaska, Hawaii. Arizona, Alaska, uh, Alaska, Hawaii. Sweet. All right. What about you? Um, Texas, Maine, Rhode Island. And the foreigner. Got it. All right. Texas. Oh. Texas. <laughs> yeah. She mean Texas. Texas. Yeah. Texas. Yeah. What, uh, what about you, Miss uh, NC? Um, New York, Georgia, and South Carolina. All right. Okay. What okay. about you? Nevada, New Jersey, Oregon. Okay, against okay. 30. What about you, Miss Cuba? <laughs> New Jersey, California, uh, she just said Texas. That. Oh, and th those were named. Kentucky, okay. Washington, D.C., um, Ohio. Okay, okay, you almost had it. But, uh, what about you? Um, something that hasn't been named yet. Yep. Arizona? Been named. Alabama. Jeez. Alabama. Okay. New Mexico. Louisiana. New Mexico. Hey, hey you guys hey, can't hey. help, man. <laughs> She's trying to cheat over here. <laughs> Alabama, New Mexico, and... Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. Bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> guys, 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 come on. We got to adhere to the rules. And you just fucked it up for everybody else now, because now she's got a name of two other states. Go ahead. <laughs> yep. Um, did somebody already say Alaska? Yes. Yep. Y'all don't remember that song? No, 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 yeah, I didn't look at some of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> New York. Mm -hmm. Somebody said that. New Jersey. No, somebody said that. Mm -hmm. Texas. Houston. I somebody said, said all that. Mm -hmm. Houston is a city. Is it city or is it state? <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, oh my God. So oh, oh, my God. God. No, you did good. You did perfect. Okay. You did perfect. Colorado. Uh-huh. North Carolina. Uh, did someone say NC? This is South. No, South. Okay. Even the girls in North Carolina didn't say their main <laughs> state. <laughs> Stupid. Um, All right, go ahead. One Seattle. more. Seattle. Is that one? No. No. <laughs> close, State. close, but yeah, Washington State. Washington. But that's fine. I'll give you a little bit of a pass because you're here. Student Exchange. How long have you lived in the United States? No, one year. One year. I'm still going to give her the stupid, stupid button. For now, you should what? know the 50 states. Are you an American citizen or no? When you're here. Okay, are you, Ameri are you American deported, citizen? Nigga? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm deported, bro. No, nigga, no, because you got to take a citizenship test to know this stuff. So, uh, yeah. that's why. She don't know nothing, bro. Other the tacos and the bananas. Uh, <laughs> and our uh, yachts. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's like I said. Uh, all right. After the ladies give their ratings, who, uh, who could they see as a sister wife and who do they see as their competition? Has to be different. Damn, bro. Ooh, Trying to put them on. Oh, wow. Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I don't know. I, I don't know if that would be a viable question at this point because they don't. To be a sister wife, they kind of gotta know each other. It's a good attempt. King Kareem goes. Question for the ladies: Which of you, uh, the two do you think your parents would frown upon more? Your man not defending you if you got physically attacked. Your man cheating on you with ten of your friends. Oh shit. It's actually not, that, not a bad huh? question. No, not defending me. Not okay. Not oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies. We'll go around the table. We'll start in South Africa. Which one would your father frown upon you more, or your parents? Your man not defending you, or, or your man, man fucking a bunch of other chicks with ten of your friends, cheating on me for sure. Really? Yeah, hands down. Because it's happened. Over defending you physically. Oh, it's happened. Yeah. Oh, it's happened. Cheating on you. Wait, not, ten of your friends? Not ten. How dare but, him? But like two Six? or three. <laughs> Damn! What, wow! Why did in, she know you? In front of me. Oh, in, front in front of you. Of you. What? what were you? Then again, no heart, bro. God damn! Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. What about you, Miss Columbia? Damn. What would be worse? Cheating on you with ten? Actually, you know, we'll come back to her. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have someone translate, <laughs> uh, and then we'll come back. What about what about you, Miss Linguist? What, what would be worse? Um, probably cheating. Cheating. Cheating, then getting your ass whipped by a dude, and he don't help you. Oh, it's by a dude. Yeah. Oh, it's by a dude. Yes. Oh no, then we switched that answer. Okay. Uh, 
I so, come from domestic violence, so that's not gonna play. So him not defending you, right? Okay, well that wouldn't be domestic violence because it's someone attacking you. But yeah, but just anything well, physical. Miss. Okay, what about you? Um, definitely not defending me. My okay. parents, both my parents, would be like, "What the hell?" All right, what about you? <laughs> the same, not defending me. Okay, what about you? Not defending me. Okay, <laughs> would you accept him cheating with ten girls? I would just leave. You would leave. At least I don't have a black eye. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> what about you? I think would, my dad would be more mad at him not defending me. Okay. Yeah, my dad too. My mom probably about the cheating would be more freaked out because it happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna cap. My mom's swinging ass for both, but um, we're what African. She's swinging ass more for. That's the problem. We're African. It really just depends on how she feels that day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just you gotta make sure you catch. What is she more than likely gonna chuck the spear at? Oh, Which she, one? The spear. You the think spear. that's all we got? <laughs> 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 you ain't heard of our president. <laughs> I, I think honestly, um, the, it's ten friends and my dude. Yeah, everybody got to get handled. Mm. Okay, but okay. which one is worse though? Are you getting a, a, him not defending you or him having sex with ten girls? Ten girls that are my friends. Oh, that's worse. Okay, that's worse. Your family because you didn't be even mad. defend me to at least respect me after one, two, ten, my nigga. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What about you, Miss North Carolina? Boom. I would say not defending me. Okay, so. You would not want the boom. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, what else we got here? Love from FNF uh, France. Stayed up all night to watch the show. It's 440 in the morning. Yeah. Shout out to you, man. You we got, got a lot of, yo, we got people all over the world. I see India. I see Europe. I see Great Britain. I see Canada, Australia. Shout out to all you guys, man. Brittany Griner done stuck out of, Ru snuck out of Russia. <laughs> oh, who did you, oh, I think they're talking about you. Yeah. Right, right. That's what they're talking about. You know, oh, yeah. you guys, you guys know Brittany yeah, Griner. Yeah. 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 The girl got uh, oh. the one next Locked to Myron. <laughs> Next to you, Myron. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, that act rant was cringe and shameful and unnecessary. Okay. Uh, w from Michael Trilstein. Thank you. Ladies, remember, there's no such thing as former federal agent. Also, Myron, how much more do you need me to super chat to have academics back on the show to explain if his escort loves him for him? Keep it uh, 100. Come on, Pause Nation, bro. Like like I said before, it's it's dead, bro. You, you, you're trying too hard now. You're reaching. I buy a big house for me, a Rolls Royce for me, just like you ladies put makeup on and tight clothing for you. Okay, fair enough. Um, one girl from the last show, uh, that's from me and my three-inch, okay? One girl from the last show complained about guys not taking her serious as a businesswoman. Thanks to Act, we find out she out here being a 304, and that's from Junior. Okay, thanks. BBL refund department goes, girl three down from fresh is Peter Griffin, okay? Um, and then let's ask Miss Columbia the question as well. What's worse, 10 people, uh, uh, her friend, her boyfriend having sex with 10 of her friends, or her man not defending her can you translate or you didn't no, that's too long. eric please can you uh do this que es mejor que tu novio esté con 10 mujeres o que no te defienda que es mejor que es peor que es peor que no te defienda que no te uh, mm. def defend. que no te defienda not defending okay cool um mo give eric the talk back mic and you yeah uh yeah. trust me <coughs> I, I i know why uh um, right, eddie yeah, fresh. Deal with this all. In case support the FNF in Dollface matter, W A K for that time. But if a panelist behaved like him, they would have been kicked. No hate, just hurt the pod. All right, Jude says, "Do you see third fours know the definition of hypergamy? You guys know what hypergamy means? Yes. What does it mean? It's when women date up. You got it. Oh, cool. Wow. Uh, Xmar says, "Thank you FNF for leading the way and producing and holding people with integrity. The show must go on. I'm not leaving." Shout out to you. Chris going to delete this, says, uh, Chris, head shaped like a thumb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Myron again says, Myron, baby, when are you coming home? I'm more sick in your absence. Your son, Myron Jr., is waiting for the bedtime story from Abby and I'm waiting for the BBC. Please hurry <laughs> home. I miss you. And you hear beak? Is that Arabic? I don't know. I... Um, you respond to your uh, wife, bro? Uh, no, I will not. That is not my wife. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Haram. Uh, Haram. Uh, yeah. Um, Fresh's cousin. You don't got the sound effect, Chris? Yep. Um, yeah, What's the picture of an ash ass black nigga, bro? Just say Fresh's cousin. What's wrong, you dog? <laughs> it, ladies, when was the last time you got curved by a guy and why do you think he did it? Go on. Mm, all right, go ahead. I say he got curved by a guy and why did he do it? If he did um, at all. Last time I got curved by a guy. Yeah. Did it ever happen? Um, I would say maybe a few times, and I don't remember when it happened. I have a boyfriend now, you know. I'm loyal now, but um, back when it did happen, I thought it's the because <laughs> <laughs> I am very loyal. But I think it's because of my height. I'm five eleven, pushing six foot, and a lot of guys are very intimidated by my height. But a lot of short guys, they they be stepping. 
the tall guys, they don't really do too much stepping, but the short guys, they like. So you went up to a tall guy, shot your shot, and he was like, no? Basically. It's about you getting curved, so I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. Okay. So he was so like, they stepped up to you? Wow. No, I, I went up to him. And I no, I mean, him. the short kings. Yeah, they come up to me, for okay. sure. Yeah. yeah. So, but you went up to a tall guy, and he, he wasn't feeling it. He was like, I like my girl shorter. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. What about you? Last time you got curved by I'm dude. not even going to hold you. Um, I used to weigh 240. I now weigh 170. So All I right. think a lot of the time, and I lost 75 pounds in five months. I'm also cool. a certified personal trainer. So Good. Good. I think, honestly, I got curved because I was bigger. And now they just flock back. The facts. All right. Fair enough. Do, well, you, have that, do you have that African um, uh, gift? You tell me. I, I, I can't see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Well, uh, question for you: Since you lost the weight, like, um, would would you say like the body body positivity movement is 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 a lie? Is it bullshit? I mean, just as someone that lost seventy pounds yourself, I honestly think a lot of I think what's real bullshit is a lot of fitness girls and creators trying to market like they actually did the work. We know girlios when it's a banded workout, but of course, I'll never knock a woman's hustle. I support any and all women that equally support the hustle too. But I think what's bullshit is lying about how you lost the weight. If you got the surgery, awesome, I support you, but. Don't over here market like you worked it out because I I'm, a, I'm I, I can look at you and know. That's this cat. Okay. All right. Yeah, so. Uh hungry, what about you? Uh I don't think I got curved. If so, it would be like distance, like well, we're too far away. But, okay, so you never like approached the guy and he was like, ah. No, I don't approach guys, they approach me. Oh, okay, excuse me. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> they be hungry. What about you, Miss North Carolina? <laughs> you see, that was funny. That was good. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was That's good. my sister. I'm my sister. <laughs> um, I mean, I got left on red. But I By who? This they left you guy. on red? Yeah. No way. <laughs> Tell me more. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess I was just being dry. I, I can well, tell. I can I can explain yeah, that. Yeah. Like I mean, I mean, <laughs> girls typically don't put effort in. So you, let me guess, you probably gave them one word answers and you just matched the energy, right? No, I wasn't giving one word answers. No, she sounds right. It was giving uh, insecure vibes. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, no I never mean, been like, curved. Come on. I mean, I don't like go looking. Like I already have like an overbearing personality, so like I already just kind of like. I look for the other loud person or the other overbearing person, mm -hmm. and then it just works because if I, I, it'll come off masculine, you know what I mean? Oh, so shit. I just don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about you, Miss Cuba? <laughs> I can't remember because I was in a relationship for 10 years mm. and just separated. So I. Oh, yeah. Just broke up? Yeah. I can't remember Damn. the last time that I got curved. What did you outside. Break up? Um, Just in differences of life and kids and. Yeah, all of that. Kids? Wait, y'all got the same kids though. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying like in the sense like women, we are forced to take over and handle things, whereas certain men can be like, Oh well, I can't take it, I'm out. You know? But us as women, we gotta be like, Well, we gotta hold it down. So okay. that's what, what I'm doing. But going back to your question, I can't remember. The, were you like the, the breadwinner? Is that what ended up happening? Um, no, we both were. Or are well, someone's got to be a breadwinner. Yeah. Someone's got to. Well, we both are because I'm the owner of Creative Last Room, and then he um does music and he has a clothing apparel as well. So we both are. Well, who makes more though? Him. He made more. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't finances; it was something else. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh. Name one thing you did wrong in the relationship, and one thing he did wrong in the relationship. Go. Uh oh <laughs> no! Can you do it? Damn. Um, me maybe just. As a Scorpio, I'm very strong-headed. <laughs> so, That's so true. Right. I'm the so, same way. Yeah? Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah. Um, so that kind of, it's a lot. To, like, um, he was a Libra man. So oh. I think it was a lot Me for too. him. Me too. I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. <laughs> are you a Scorpio or are you a Libra? No, he's I'm Libra. Oh, my son is a Scorpio. My moon is the Libra. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick. And there's two birds. Cat and corn. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro. Okay, anyway. so basically, the issues is that your signs were different. No. So, so that's what you literally <laughs> referred to just now. Um, I wanted different things than he did. Okay. And he, right now, Instagram, it's very, it's a place where you can go and look at different things and have a lot of different mm. options. Uh huh. So that was my problem with him. He was trying. He was dealing with other girls. Yeah. So okay. Um. 
No, oh my God, this is this is just too. I'm just letting you get juicy with it. Go no, 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 no. It, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I mean, so you just didn't like the fact that like he was talking to other girls on Instagram. Yeah, it was just a lot of like disrespect. Mm. Like I'm very old school, so it's like I want you committed and I want you. You know, like in a relationship with me, but it, we're in Miami. Everybody here is dating like 10 women, you know? So it's I don't think hard. it's old school. It's like the bare minimum. Yeah. They're not cheating on you. But, um, I mean, old school is like... with women, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, Chris? <laughs> I'm saying old school is then with females. Like, when I was a king back in the past, I would have 10 girls. So that's old school, right? Shout out King Solomon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, your guy, it's from the looks of it, is a higher earner. I mean, wouldn't it be fair to say that guys that have options are typically going to exercise them? Not when you have everything that you have at home. But then again, if you don't value it, then yeah, I guess. What if I told you that no matter how good his girl is, a guy's typically want to still, he's still going to want to have sex with other girls. I, I can understand that because I'm a lot of, I'm talking to more people now and like I got him out of my bubble. And mm -hmm. um, so now that you understand it, why won't you accept it if he's the father of your kids? Because mm. I just, I don't accept it. I will wait for someone who is respectful of my boundaries. Okay. I mean, what if I told you all guys want to have multiple women? It's just no, that some that's guys. That's not true. That's not true? No. Okay. Let me bring you guys a little bit to reality here. <laughs> okay. Um, because men don't typically tell women this, but you're never going to sexually satisfy your man by yourself. He's always going to want other women. And that's the core of our truth. Men are hardwired to want to have sex with multiple women. Your girl can provide you every single thing that you need. She can be the best girl ever, give you children. Men are still going to want exercise options. Typically, the only difference is some guys have the ability to do it and do it. Other guys don't have the ability to do it, but wish they could. That's why they look at porn. So flip so, the script, though. No. What happens when you're a well-earning woman who makes more than your man? Do you also have the right to exercise those options? Um, no, because that makes you a whore. You, yeah, you just get called so a whore. So I'm a whore because I have a <laughs> vagina? No, 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 no. You're a whore for exercising options when you have a man. So what is it if I'm a man with a penis who wants to exercise their options? And a whore maker. Like Oh, yes. I guess the whores are in the testicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they, <laughs> Put that on a shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Well, we might make that a slogan, but no, I mean, um, I, I, I get it. I get what you're saying. Like, hey, as a strong, powerful woman, should they should be able to do the same thing. My argument is that you can do the same thing, but it's not going to be respected by society. Right. And the reason why is because sex is easy to come by for women. It's extremely difficult to get for men. So when men reach a certain status and they're able to actually exercise options, they typically will. Right. I just find it funny that girls leave I see a she guy, some too, Commerce. right, that to take care of them or on some level has that connection with them, right? Because he cheated, but they get with another guy, he's going to cheat too. So it's like, what are you really changing for? They go, they're all going to cheat for the most part, yeah. if they can. Men can uh, love their girl and have sex with another woman and it's not that big a deal. Yeah. I, I, I'm but not trying to write like, excuses for your guys. No. Your guy, no. But what I am saying is that women have a very difficult time understanding that they're not that special and you'll, you're never going to sexually satisfy your guy by yourself. That's the cold hard truth. So what do you do with a man who has to deal with the fact that he'll never financially satisfy a woman as much as he thinks and now doesn't have the ability to then exercise those options because he doesn't need a financial bracket? That's a fantastic point. The way to combat that is you got to make sure that you date a guy that you're willing to accept it from that meets your financial requirements for you. Every woman has a different number. Every woman has a different limit. Um, but what I would say is find a guy that's willing uh, that you're willing to accept it from. Because the only difference between a regular guy and a rich guy is the rich guy can actually potentially enact on what he wants to do. So do I determine the price that I think I'm worth? It's not that you determine the price. It's that women are slaves of their own success. So if you're a successful woman and you make a certain amount of money, let's be honest, you're not going to be able to date down. So what I say is at least meet a guy that fulfills that financial need of security that you have. Every woman has a different number. I almost argue that I think every woman dates down. I don't have a gun cap. Well, uh, no, we can get into that so, a little later. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Here's the thing. You're right. Some girls do date down out of necessity. But what I'm saying is that if things were optimal, women typically prefer to date at least across, if not preferably above. Do men? Men are okay with dating down. Oh. Correct. Oh. Completely okay with dating down. Well, then that sounds like a man problem. Sorry, mm -hmm. guys. I mean, I'm going to say... <laughs> Y'all sound like you made the problem yourself because if you're okay with dating down, then you knew what it was when you signed up. Baby so, boy. What? But you know that, what I mean? familiar. We're, we're going into another... Remember, we're <laughs> like talking about... about later. We're talking about men exercising <laughs> options sexually. That, that's but not, that's, that's a, another, another thing, like, wanting it. Like, obviously, I know, like, after 10 years, my husband's going to want to fuck other girls, but it's another thing, acting on it, like... Wanting it and acting on it actually is two different things. Mm -hmm. Like we can accept that they want it. Like probably I'm gonna want to sleep with other men too, but like really? I'm not going no, you're not. to. They're no, not. Okay, <laughs> but right. like I'm Ladies, not raise going to. Raise your hands, raise your hands, real fast, just to prove your point is incorrect. Would you prefer to have sex with multiple men at the same time or just one man? 
Is my man watching this? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, respect, honestly, if you're with a guy that Not you at the same time. That, as, if you're with a guy that you love and mind respect, right? Mm-hmm. Would you prefer to just have sex with him or would you prefer to have five guys that eh, you just have casual sex with? So I love him, admire him. He's yeah. your man. Would you prefer to have sex with one guy or multiple guys at the same time? But wait, do we one, know one, that he one, he's one. already having sex Answer the with question. Other? Answer the question, please. One. 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 So raise the hands for women that want to have sex with just one guy at a time. If he's preferably, loved, if I love and admire him. Okay. Yes. All right. So most girls here would rather have, but now let's ask the guys. Would you prefer to have sex with just one girl or multiple girls? Marin? Even if you're with one main chick. Let's say, guys, uh, well, multiple chicks, guys. No, well, all the men in the room. As a man of God, I must comply yeah. and I must achieve that. Uh, yeah, that's, that is true as a man of God. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that, like oh men, God. right? You're trying to make an argument for something women <laughs> typically don't even want, is what I'm trying to say. I honestly from his hungry. I was speaking uh, hungry. <laughs> really no, time. I'm just saying like <laughs> yeah, that obviously you want it, but acting on it is a different thing. Too like you know, if you have a if you have someone at home who you love and you have family, you might not want to act on it, even though you like. Okay, would do I have a question it. for you, Miss Hungry. Would it be fair to say that women typically they want a family, children, and stability from one man? Yeah. Okay, that's what women want, right? From like a let's say a dating strategy or a mating strategy. That's what they want, right? Yeah. So what do men want? I mean, I know, men, I know men who also want family and What children. do men want when it comes to sexual strategy? Well, just fuck. Bitches. <laughs> I think okay. they want someone that they can walk around the streets with that they like want to show off. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like they want to walk to down degree. the street and be like, this is my wife or this is my partner. And she's right. hot as fuck. And I know she's hot as fuck. But that is... I'm still gonna cheat the on reason her. I'm with her and I'm still going to cheat, cheat on, on her. her. Okay, yeah. that's it to a degree, but let's keep I'll just keep it very simple. Women are interested in quality, men are interested in quantity. So women want the best guy that they can get, consolidate on that guy, right? And have children generalize. and have a family. Settle down with that guy. I'm sorry? You can generalize. Like I don't think all men would do well, I'm it. I'm talking about women right now. Oh. So if I lined up 100 women and I said what do y'all want? Most of them would say I want one guy, relationship with that guy, have a family, build with that guy, security from that one man. If I land up 100 men, they're going to say, I want a main chick and then have a bunch of side chicks. That's if, if we're going to be painfully honest. So now that we know what the two genders want, why is it okay for you to get what you want, a family stability from one man, but it's not okay for the man to exercise his options to get what he wants sexually, which is multiple women. Why is that a problem? Why is it that we prioritize what women want in their sexual strategy, but we don't give a fuck about what men want? He's supposed to hold his desires and wills back. Meanwhile, you're getting your desires and wills met with the guy. I'm going to be so honest. Hold on, let Miss Hungry oh, answer, yes. please. Hungry, hungry. Miss Hungry. <laughs> why, why, is um, your, why is your sexual strategy more important than his? But I wouldn't... Please answer I would, the question. It's not much more important, but I wouldn't uh, create a family with a guy who, who wants that. Like... Who will eventually? The majority of men want it. But how do you know? Like, you know, I'm a guy and I talk to guys all the time, and we got twelve thousand plus people in here. And I maybe I'm too naive, but I still believe that there are guys out there who don't want to fuck everyone. That's a minority. Okay. Wow. Most men are faithful as their options, and to be honest with you, that guy that you're talking about that only wants to have one girl, whatever. You guys aren't attracted to guys like that. That's Can I ask a question? <laughs> Fair. They're okay, nice guys. That one. They're I'm nice guys. So I'm like, 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 Man, if you're watching this, you're so sweet. You know, you see how you see me out here blushing. You feel me? And honestly, I, you know, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you, you know what? I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you laugh no more. Guess what? Guess what? What? I made double the salary. Okay. So you dated down? I sure did. Okay. See? And I'm the happiest I've ever been. Okay. So here's the thing. That's oh you. But I, most women treat nice guys poorly. There's a reason why the saying "nice guys finish last" has been <laughs> a tenement of American culture for a very long time. And most women are not okay with dating a guy that makes half the amount of money that they do. Now, you are probably an exception to the rule. However, most women don't want that. I'm okay with not being most women. Okay, but <laughs> we can't make it. But here's the thing. You're smart. You go to school. You have two master's degree, degrees. We know that we can't make an argument for an exception to the rule. Okay. Because you're a minority. And since you're a minority, you're, with all due respect, you're, you're statistically insignificant. A majority of women still want what I'm saying, which is a man who's dominant, leader, assertive, 
competitive, makes more money than her, you know more what? competent than her, etc. I love science myself. I yes. also have a bachelor's. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a I'm a bio pre med girl. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. oh, I think. Hey, come on. I I do say this. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that it's that a women want those things. We want the there's genotypic and phenotypic traits, right? Uh -huh. But characteristic, characteristically, what women want is protection. They want security. They want something solid, something safe that they can come back to, whether it's a nice man or a man who's financially stable. That's what it ultimately comes down to. Now, some of my girlios, some of us unfortunately see love as trauma and vice versa. So sometimes we go after the bad boys thinking that the bad boys come with good things. But that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Same things with some women. Sometimes a nice pretty girl busted up with a nice BBL juicy butt, you know? Ain't always the right thing for you, but you guys will go after it because you got a fat ass, you got a pretty face, it's like a mm -hmm. six, but the ass mm -hmm. a ten. <laughs> you feel me? So I think a lot of the times what people go after are the characteristics and then they try to put those onto other people. Not all the times is a shiny spoon a shiny spoon. I think that's what that's it comes a fact because people can interpret safety as different things. Exactly. It's not only it's not always financial security. Sometimes, like for example, I only like to date men that carry a gun. That's a preference. Because, you know, we can, we live in a state that you're able to carry. People right. that don't live in a state that aren't able to carry may feel some type of way about that. But at the end of the day, like, we're in a world where the world is dangerous. So I would like somebody to at least have a fighting chance rather than a man that's just like, you're going to bring a knife to a gunfight and then you're yeah. shot. Like, and then what? I so. mean, that still doesn't disprove what I'm saying is that women look for security. Yes, that's Correct. a multivaried situation. It's security from, you know, competence, financial, physical security, etc. But women still look for security and 100%. preferably from one man. So what I'm saying is that these uh, are unalienable traits that women look for in men. So just because you're willing to concede on some things doesn't mean that the overwhelming majority still won't. Most girls would never take a guy that makes 50% what they do. You know, yeah. um, but they might be able to provide good dick, girls. or they may, I will, but, they might. Other but, safety but comes in other forms. That does happen a lot of times too. Um, more so than uh, more or less than than uh, normal. But I'll just say this regarding that as well. That has happened. However, does it last most of the time? Not really. I mean, girls will like date a guy that's like just giving a good dick or like you know yeah. a good time. But then it's like, wait, hold on a second. I can get way better than I'm doing right now. Why settle for this guy? And he say, you know what? I woke up. I don't, I don't need this thing anymore. You, you just leave. But, so like, it's for a period of time for the mm -hmm. most part. That yeah. becomes a respect issue though. I feel like respect plays a huge part in that, that you may date down for a period of time, but over time, you know, you as an alpha female, quote unquote, you lose respect for that man as a man because you feel like you're doing everything or you're overcompensating. For I'd them. argue there's no such thing as an alpha woman. It's just a masculine woman. So okay. why does but, a man... Alpha is, an inherently, well, alpha is an inherently masculine like trait. Correct. So, it, 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 if, if a woman is alpha, that's just a nice way of saying that she's just a masculine woman. But, which is a trauma response. If you're, da again, dating down, like you may take on that role because you don't feel Agreed. secure and things like that. You have to but, be with somebody you feel secure with to be in that feminine place. I personally feel like no, that's I, true because I had relationships where I needed I needed to take a seat back, but I felt like I couldn't. And then I met somebody that wasn't allowing me to be that person. And I sat down somewhere quietly because that's what I needed. Yeah. Um, right. No, I agree with you. But going back to cause so that we don't go on a random tangent here, um, I, I think and I think a lot of you guys may not like it or agree with it. But to bring this all full circle is simply that men are only as faithful as their options. So I would look at it like if you're with a higher status man and he steps out and has sex with other girls, but he comes home to you or you're his main chick or you got the ring or the last name. That's something that you're probably going to have to deal with, because when you deal with a higher status man, there's not enough of them to go around. But there's beautiful women everywhere. We discussed earlier. Men will gladly date down, but women will not. So if you make a certain amount of money as a woman, unfortunately for you, there's less of him than there are of you. And that man has way less requirements to meet, to get his needs met. Men, all we look for is beautiful and young, typically, right? Women want status, income, confidence, ambition, dominant, assert, uh, you know, very I, few men have all these traits. So you got to ask yourself a real question. Who really has the leverage here? You or your man? If your guy's higher status, you don't. He does. So when you say that a woman should like accept it, what does that look like? Does that look like her just allowing it? Does it look like? Um, it, it depends on the woman, how she wants to deal with it. I mean, some girls don't, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Some girls want to participate. Some girls um, are totally OK with it being right in front of them. Um, every girl has different tolerance levels. But what I tell women is if you're going to be with a, with a winner, you have to be prepared to share him. You're never going to have a winner all to yourself. Just that's just not the way the world works. That's not how men are wired. That's not what men, what men want. And the only difference is, is that some guys have the ability to, you know, get other girls and some guys don't. But those dudes that don't have the girls, they're still looking at porn, which I would argue is the same exact thing. 
Did you she's, pick she's that like, line from no. Kevin Samuels? Which, Which line from Kevin Samuels? The whole sharing thing. He told me that. He I told mean, me I'd get a million dollar man, but I'd have to share him. Yeah, I mean, we. Th that's just reality. Wait, yeah, you wait, said hold, watching hold porn is the same personally. thing. So you wouldn't share your man right now? Share right now? Yeah, your man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the question is, yeah, your you, current man. My current man. You wouldn't share him? Would not sh share him. With, oh, I share him with God. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you're dating a rapper. Yo, you're dating a drill rapper. Okay, so let me live in my delusion. Yeah. Let me live in my delusion. Okay, so she knows what time it is. All right, thank God. She knows. I have a nice home. I don't mind. Yeah, so she knows. So wait, why are you arguing? Why are you arguing against the abuse? <laughs> A nice I did, he's never no, cheated. I've, nice never, I've never heard of him cheating on me. I've never seen or you heard hear him. Petty <laughs> money. Yo, never... niggas go on tour. Hey, man, this is a great tour, babe. I'm back for you. Yeah, back. I'm going to scream, down, my man, down. my man, my man, because I've never had anything happen. Well, you let's, know? Say, let's say this happen. Just understand it's normal, okay? Just not. And, no. and self defense is How legal. How you deal with it? Oh, God. He's just over there. How you deal with it? Like, she was the first one to make faces at me yeah. when I said you're going to have to share your guy. Because I've and been told that, but like I've never, like to my knowledge, I'm just going to be humble right now. To my knowledge, I've never been cheated See, on. See, a good man will cheat. I'm not let you find out. He's a great man. Why would you wish that on me? I'm saying, saying it might happen. Uh, he's fucking bitches, bro. Like it's a thousand. He's yeah, fucking he bitches. I'm telling, I'm preparing you that because when you inevitably find out, because that curiosity is gonna come at some point. You might look at his phone. You might see some shit. What I am saying is that the best thing for you to do is accept it. Be happy with being the main girl and just understand you're gonna have to share your man. Women, I don't know why women can't understand this. Like if you told me, right? If if a girl came up to me and said, you know what? In general, women want guys that are six feet or above. I want to sit there and be like, no, that's not the way it should be. They should accept guys that are five foot three, etc. This is bullshit. I don't agree with that. You're speaking generalities. Wouldn't I sound very uh, stupid for saying that? Because the majority is most women do want a guy that's six feet tall. I don't argue with reality. I accept the reality. Are you okay? over six feet? I am personally. <laughs> yeah. However, but, but what I'm saying is that if I was five foot ten, if I was five eleven, whatever maybe, or we could say women in general prefer Caucasian men. Caucasian men do the best on dating apps and women, they tend to be the most universally attractive. I'm not going to sit here, get mad and say, well, you're insecure because you picked Chad. That's fucked up. I accept the reality. I adapt and I overcome and I deal with girls that tend to like guys that look like me. Fine. But why is it when I tell girls men are only as faithful as their options? They say, well, not all men. And I don't agree with that. And that's bullshit. Hey, listen, man, you don't Maybe have to agree. Maybe he got all his this experiences out on. before but... he got into a committed relationship. It's just some people do get whored out and then they settle down at the end. Men are never sexually satisfied. They're always going to want to have other girls. Hugh Hefner was so smashed a girl so the day he died. What was that? But when you say that we should accept like being yeah. the main chick, how do we know we stay the main chick? If they have other chicks, we could be replaced. So why why shouldn't you I be on your A game, that? don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be on your A game. See, women don't want to work, bro. Like, that's what I'm trying Like, men have to work. Be hungry. Men have to work to be attractive. Women don't. Your job is the woman to keep him. So you got to compete, stay attractive, stay feminine. Stay fit, friendly, right? Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. You got to have all these traits to keep the guy around. Be valuable. Be an asset to the man. Bro, girls say they want the truth. Don't they don't have the truth. Yeah, yeah, we thanks. just tell the truth and y'all thinking like, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. Don't and did you truth. say like watching porn was the same as cheating? Or what did you say before? Well, the difference is, is that one guy watches the porn because a lot of times he might not be able to oh. enact on his fantasy. And then some other guys are the ones making the porno videos. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the porn. I like the, uh, point I the porn. Twitch. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let's kill the Twitch, Facebook, and Twitch stream. Yeah, yeah. Show a good, call, good catch. Somebody had something. YouTube guys, YouTube. Yeah, Go I ahead. like the point that you made that men are only as attractive as their options, and I honestly argue the same for women. We are argued to have a time clock. We have to say young and beautiful for you. Leonardo DiCaprio says young and beautiful stops at twenty five. Yeah, I got like two more days. No, I'm lying. I'm <laughs> but does that mean that after November I'm no longer beautiful and young? Do I just like turn yeah. into ashes or some shit? Like I also acknowledge this. I'm a woman working for the government. Mm -hmm. I'm a black woman, dark skin at that. No mm -hmm. offense to you beautiful ladies around here, but I'm the darkest thing here. You know what I mean? Well, fresh. <laughs> fresh. Yeah, I, I think fresh got you. <laughs> no, no, no. She's darker than me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know this was a black people Olympics, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But either way, I, I do recognize that statistically you brought up Hinge. I am the least attractive on that app. Oh, thank you for someone you know knowing the truth. Well, because I, I'm a scientist, I, I know my numbers. Yeah, she knows numbers too. But yeah. at the same rate, I That's also true. acknowledge that here in Miami, colorism is a huge facet. I do not face as many colorist issues as many of my co-parts, but at 
least statistically, I recognize I'm darker skinned and I should be less attractive. Now you argue whatever that is, and I'm also a woman making a lot more money than my partner. Right there, I chop off a couple of tears that a couple of men are not going to agree with. I'm dating down. I'm dark skinned. I used to be fat. So (laughs) now I'm only as attractive as the options I have now that I lost fat, apparently. So why is it that only men get, like, I feel like it applies to both. Once a woman recognizes her worth and she's also making her own bread, she doesn't really need you. You become a choice. I am as now as attractive as the options I make for myself. And depending on my demeanor, when I approach you, I can either be that bitch or mm, that bitch. Well, you know what I mean? Well, the thing is, is that I think a lot of successful women that are educated kind of fail to realize this. Um, your money, your status, your acumen's your competence doesn't make you sexier, unfortunately. I would honestly um, disagree because I feel like I'm kind of sexy when I say, hold on, let me try, let me try. Hi, I'm Acklin. What's your name? Yeah. Fresh Hila. Nice to meet you, Fresh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Beautiful. Um, by any chance, you just look like a strong, educated man. What's your background? Man of God. <laughs> Are you a Christian? Catholic? Yeah. My mother also went to an Episcopalian church. I feel like we should exchange numbers. You see, I just used my education. I used my knowledge of his re- religious background to approach him in that sense. He wants to fuck you, though. Hey, man. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hey, man. So scared, though. Stop, hey, yo. Hey, hey, a I'm, hit is I'm a sorry, hit. Hey. A win is a win. Yeah. But at the so, end of the day, my but, approach is at this. My education and my sense are that I approached him in a way that I knew that he would react to. I knew it when I approached him. I know my suitor. To fuck no, him. that's cool. Hey, man. I, I understand that. A hit is that. a hit. A win is a win. Fuck or I, not. I, I understand that, but... but <laughs> You got to understand that a woman's accomplishments don't ha- hold the same value as a man's accomplishments. In other words, do you tell you, me that value? So it's a man's value being dictated by a man. So you're telling me that value. You're marking that price. You're indicating that. That's why I asked you earlier. What is my price? Do I make that value or do you set it? And if it's a man, is there no instant bias? Men, well, 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 men, men set female female value, and then the marketplace dictates yeah. male value. So men must go out there create uh, you know create something that the world can admire, and then that typically gives him the status and or income, right? Okay. But with women, their value unfortunately comes from male uh, male appreciation. There's so, reason why women are looked at as beauty objects and men are looked at as success objects. So, the makeup industry will never go out of business okay, because women right. understand that their inherent value is typically tied to how they look. Mm-hmm. So I get what you're saying. I go to school, I'm educated, etc. But I don't think women understand that success, money, status, it's elective for mm-hmm. women. It's just a plus. Mm-hmm. But for a man, it's mandatory for you to be attractive. Mm-hmm. For a woman, let's be honest, how many girls know a, guy, a girl that's a bimbo, idiot, doesn't have anything to her name, but she's dated a millionaire? Plenty, correct? However, on the other way around, right, you ain't going to be able to name many guys that are idiots, etc., that are dating girls that have status and money. Rihanna ain't never giving me a chance, okay? <laughs> the, wow. uh, she, she ain't never giving me a chance because she has money, she has status, etc. But, right, ASAP Rocky has fucked plenty of groupies. See the difference, ladies? Status but, matters. But they're dating. Do you argue that Rihanna's dating down? Well, here's the thing. You get to a certain point as a woman where it becomes diminishing returns. And then the status is of, of the same. She might she makes more money than Rocky. She's higher value than so Rocky. she's dating down. But she dictates the relationship. She does date down. So she's she does. dating down. But you know why? Why? Out of necessity. Okay. It, there's not many men on her level. And she's getting older. So she's got to start and to consolidate. And she dated billionaires before. She dated billionaires before. Yeah. But also, I would even argue. Could keep them. Older yep. or not, oh Rihanna God. is well over 25. She is. I mean. The woman is up there. She's been Hence her settling right now. But she's been, she oh. denied Drake. And I used to have this saying, oh, y'all might not like this. I put on my hinge profile way back when I was single, whatever. I used to say, I think anybody can bag Drake. Every Drake. Dude, Drake. But everybody used to clown me. That's I used to get the most responsive on that question. But I used to say, like, think about it. Well, you're using the wrong metric. You're What's using it? you're using the masculine metric of achieving somewhat something. Okay. Right. That's the male metric. The female metric is retaining. Oh. Man is to attain, female is to retain. And who sets the metric? I mean, <laughs> this is how the world works. Women want security, correct? Uh, yeah. A large component of getting that security is doing what? Retaining the man. But again, who sets the metric? For what? For whatever you're describing. For success? Yeah. Biology. It's Is it men? We're put on this earth to procreate, correct? Okay. So but- since we're put on this earth to procreate, when it behove you as an individual to do what's attractive to the opposite gender, which you're going to procreate I with? I just want to know who sets the metric. I told you, biology. Okay, but is biology my gender? I just want to know, is it man or woman who sets the metric? It's biology. And, and then the, the <laughs> this truth, is a very politically it's, correct it's, it's, answer. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's biology, but okay. the, the, the genders reinforce it through so their attraction triggers. When we talk Does biology, that make sense? is it XY or XX? What? 
the chromosomes. No, 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 no. I, I understand that, but you're, <laughs> I you're, just want it. you're trying just, to complicate it for no reason. I, I, no, I feel like okay. it's just, it's you so want to play this game fine. I Listen, <laughs> it's biology that dictates it, okay. and then the 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 genders, uh -huh. each gender, um, reinforces it. I'll give an example. With women, right? Uh -huh. They want status, income, etc. Okay. If the man does not meet that requirement, they reject him. So women have the ability to reject based on the metric. We have the ability to say, "Hey, you don't have what I need. I'm going to go." Exactly. However, okay, when the woman does, when the man does meet these metrics uh -huh. and attracts her, mm -hmm. it's her job to keep that man and gain security from him. This is why this is why women look forward to weddings and marriages. They want to walk down the aisle. Why do women want that? They get that security. It's very important for them. So the okay. man dictates who gets the relationship and the commitment. Okay. So it's 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 reinforced by both genders. So biology dictates everything, and then the genders naturally uh -huh. reinforce it with their boundaries, wants, attraction, triggers, etc. I feel like it's just a chicken and the egg argument because whatever I'm reinforcing, somebody had to make the rule in the first place. So I feel like ultimately, well, it goes in a circle, circle I, of life. Uh, right, I mean, but something. but I mean, at the end of the day, Lying. like as a woman who makes seven figures like my money does not retain my relationship like my ability to go. if he gets home at 6 a.m me making breakfast when he gets home is what's retaining my retaining my relationship mm -hmm. it's never been my ability to i'm on a, i'm a forbes lister top of my game but that that doesn't retain my relationship me cooking from scratch three times a day retains my relationship Ooh, and okay. retains me going on three times a day <laughs> Not yes, from yes, scratch. Sir. I was on Food Network, but like me being able to cook, me being able to upkeep our home and like putting labels on everything, doing weirdo organizing shit is what's retaining my relationship. It's not weird. It's, it's fantastic. It's awesome. <laughs> don't let don't let these women, the Karens, like try to shame. And I have an issue with, with women that try to shame each other for being a pick me or whatever. I think it's very important for women to uh, understand that your power doesn't come from how much money you make, your income, your income, whatever. You can have that stuff like for you, you're a seven figure earner millionaire. Fantastic. I guarantee you it doesn't make your boyfriend's dick hard. No. He's more attracted <laughs> to the feminine traits that you bring to the table. Success for women is elective. For men, it's mandatory. Women can pick and choose if they want to be successful, which you are in your case. Fantastic. But it's not going to make your guy more attractive to you. It's not going to get me a if ring. If you lost your millions, if you lost your millions, he would probably stand by your side and take care of you and not have an issue with it. However, if he lost his status and income, etc., you would start to waver a bit because men and women are not the same and we look at different things and that's okay. I would hold it down now. Maybe yes, if it was a couple With years. With a time clock. There's always uh, a time yeah. clock. I'll no. There is a time clock. I'll yeah. give you all that. But I but mean, for him, there ain't no time clock. Is the point? No, I could go broke tomorrow. Exactly. And he'd take me. But I mean, that's just what it is. Somebody said Kevin Samuels check me. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, but I mean, I was doing that before Kevin Samuels. I was cooking and oh, cleaning before go. that. And I mean, Yo, that's what works for me. Can you imagine being on a date where like the girl's like, "Yeah, so I went to Harvard. I have a PhD." And also as well, I mean, I don't lead with that. I, I'm just saying in general, in general, in general. Not you want to know how my dates, my dates went? I uh, was showing him places I wanted to visit for him to pay for. I was like, we should go here. We could go hiking. And it worked. He didn't realize that I was like going out. It's crazy because I went to Dubai the very next day, but I didn't tell she him. You pulled a Joe rapper by telling him, let's go hike. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I, mean, I, wanted to, I wanted to hike a volcano. That was like my selling point of like the things that, that I like to do. I didn't feel like my income or my success, like he could go on Google for that. Like it was but irrelevant. Did you notice she was showing the inexperience, which men want because he want, she wants to get a first experience from him. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, yeah. that, we did hike a volcano, and I did get us stranded. I did, <laughs> Wait, and I uh, lost his phone, but he still loves me. Wait, so, so I'm curious. In Dubai, what happened? So I went to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> I I paid for my Dubai trip and all of my staff to celebrate doing a million dollars in like six months. So that was my thing. It was planned uh, before I met him. I wanted him to go, but he was on some like. Bitch, I'm not running off on a ten thousand dollar trip. I just met you, and I was like, oh, right. sorry, oh. I thought it was a porta potty, but <laughs> fair enough. Nah, uh, Miss I North just, Carolina in the corner has something, right? I saw you go like this. Oh no, no, somebody else have some. Okay, <laughs> so you accept cheating. You don't accept it. Maybe accept? you're thinking twice about it. Well, you just have be. You're. You, I'd you're rather like, be no judged. Sight, no by, I'd rather be and judged by twelve than carried by six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that took a dark turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know what's funny about that? Girls yeah. want a guy that can <laughs> cheat, but it, they don't, that doesn't put it in their face. Like they, they might have an inkling, Damn. but they don't want to see it in their face. I have no inkling right now. Stop cursing me. No, Stop I'm just projecting. saying in general, in general, in general, in general, not you. You're going to get curious. <laughs> and, and you might find something. All I'm saying is don't get mad. Um, all right, so where were we before? We were on um, uh, questions about um, <laughs> before this whole cheating conversation. And we asked her about her relationship. Um, okay. Have you been curved by a guy and 
Why do you think? He oh, have you ever been curbed by a guy? We okay, so we'll go we with Miss North Carolina now. Oh, um, well, there was this guy that shot his shot at me, and then we were talking for a little bit, and then there was this one time where we had like a movie night, and I was cuddled up with his friend, but I didn't know they were friends, so he stopped yeah, talking to me after it? that. Wait, you said you cut it up with his friend? Cuddled. Cuddled. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, okay. But okay. I have a pencil. And you have a what? I said I repented. Oh, you repented. <laughs> Fantastic. Born again virgin. Uh, <laughs> all right, what about you, Ms. Linguist? Um, I've, I've, I've been left on red, like, earlier. And also when we were just talking about when I mentioned any of my degrees of what I do, it just... As I start liking that person, it kind of turns tables. Mm. And even if I cook or whatever, it just turns um, around. Like they just ghost me, like out of nowhere. But I've over the years, I've become stronger to like just keep me moving. They ghost mm. you. They ghost yeah, they touch their up, ego. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, typically, if a guy ghosts a girl, she she fucked up somehow. Yeah, men rarely, if ever, ghost women. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I've been I've been told on a date after paying for it that he felt emasculated because. Of <laughs> why were you I paying? Mean, well, what a surprise! <laughs> Wait, what? what a surprise! I just want to know why were I'm you paying? PhD. Me too. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. Just, well, okay, so here, ladies, hear hear me out. I am totally. Oh, oh no! I didn't say that. Go ahead. Okay, I am totally okay with you know if you take me out, awesome. If I if I'm like, hey, I want to do something for us, awesome. That's the way I see it. Mm -hmm. There isn't any, like, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Even when I was bigger, I was, to be honest with you, when I was bigger, I think it was a fetish because a lot of these D1 athletes, a lot of these people signed right now, I'm mm -hmm. looking at them like, you don't remember me? <laughs> like, you know, I'm going to say that too loud, but, uh, you know, I, I mean, like, I, I'm noticing that the treatment that I have now is different. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was more hypersexualized versus now they feel like they have to respect me. So now it's like too much effort. But when I would pay for dates or like, I felt like, hey, like, I wanted to do something with you. So I got us a reservation here. Do you want to come? Now it's crickets. So yeah. you paid for the wow. date because you liked him? Yeah. I paid for dates where I didn't like them because yeah. I didn't want to come back and I didn't want them to feel like <laughs> like entitled. Like I owe you. Something. Yeah, you know what? I, mean? I didn't want a situation where it's like, bitch, I bought you a three hundred dollar steak. Like, what you mean? So I would just pay. <laughs> like, you feel me? So yeah, I would I just it. pay. Get up out of there. You ain't never gonna see me again. Okay. Like, be good. But like, I didn't want a situation like, especially like nowadays, like. Especially sometimes, like, obviously, Instagram, people see me and they're like, oh, I got to come correct. So you get the whole, like, oh, I'll get bottle service and the $400 gold steak, not realizing I don't eat steak and I don't drink on my first date. But I just be sitting there. So I just pay for it and get up out of there. Like, because I ain't tell you to spend all that money on that date. I did not tell you that was you. That's yeah, a good point. but you ain't saying no, though. Uh, you right. But what am I supposed to say? You want me to be like, hey, bro, I don't think you want to do all that. Yeah, like, do it. Imagine. Say it. All right, and when they take when I end up at Jeffrey Dahmer's crib, then we're like, oh, <laughs> but wow. the funny part is <laughs> that guy won't go on a date with you <laughs> without that intent. You might, but he, he won't. But if you're overcompensating, like let's just be real, you do not have to order an entire bottle of wine at a date. You and it's a first date. Maybe he wants to make an impression on you because he likes that's you. my point. He's making an impression based off my income. Or maybe just because he wants just, to feel like, it. yeah, he just feels like maybe I need to do something to impress her. Or I, I really so like so her. He may just, like he may just, just have you, you know right? What? Yeah. I got work in the morning. I got a dip. Or just don't go out at all. Like, don't How go am out. I yeah. supposed to know? I have to get to know you. I don't know until bread comes. That's like, ah, I'm not really feeling bread. this. Bread got to come first. At least, you know. <laughs> go to the bathroom and never come back. I'm not that bold. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Have you guys ever done that? Have you guys ever... I oh, actually I want you to answer first. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, shit. Just putting you in the Why does my opinion matter? Oh, because I just feel like I'm really curious what you're gonna say. I do want to know you guess you. Right I'm you because I already heard asked you today. But so have you ever like left a girl at a date, like left her with the bill or just dipped? Oh yes. You uh, did, bro. And if you do no, that I time once um no tacos. Yeah, taco Absolutely. time one time. <laughs> what happened was she ordered a bunch of shit and she was pissing me off. So I said, All right, listen, um, I'm gonna pay for my portion, you pay for your portion. I'll see you later. And then she like walked off and stormed because she didn't want to pay. And she How ordered a bunch tab? of shit. It was probably like 20 bucks. Some but shit like that, 20, 30 bucks. Out? But it was principal. I'm not going to pay for a disrespectful woman. So I, I said, listen, I, I'm paying for my half. You pay for your half. You have a good day and I'll see you. And like she kind of let reality sink in that I was like about to walk off. And she like got up and said, fuck you. You're an asshole. And just like left the food there and left. But did you ask her out? Like, did you ask her on a date originally? Yes, I did. 
Okay. I did. But this but, is my point. You can't get disrespectful on dates. You don't know how that man is going to react. He right. could have came across that table and like throw some wow, tacos. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, yeah. so I, just I, keep, I keep yeah, it cute yeah, on my any type of first yeah. date. I keep it cute because I don't know. That man could really be like, no, bitch. Like, yeah. I'm going to date you. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, my, my thing is, I, I, I um, well, we have a bunch of ladies here that are educated to have their own money, etc. And, you know, our boss babes, modern day women, which is cool. But my thing is, I look at it like being a man, being a gentleman, chivalry, etc. In today's day and age is earned because women, quite frankly, are no longer traditional. So if a woman wants traditional treatment from me, she's got to be traditional on her end. I'm a big mm. proponent of being reciprocal. And the problem is that a lot of women want to pick and choose when they want to be a lady. And I don't really play that. So if you're going to be masculine, obnoxious, rambunctious, annoying, etc., well, then you no longer deserve and are going to get chivalry from me. And I've made the argument plenty of times that chivalry is dead and women killed it. And a big part of it is, you know, feminism, indoctrination, whatever. That's a whole other discussion. But my thing is chivalry has to be earned in 2022. In my opinion, I think if you're a man and you act chivalrous from the rip, a lot of women are going to take advantage of you and use you for it. So you have a problem with women picking half of the tradition. Like you don't feel like women are taking the entire tradition that like. Oh, I think women pick and choose with. when they want to be ladies. They're picking how they want. They want men to propose and get on one knee, but they're not being the traditional woman. Exactly. That is being proposed. To. Exactly. Which I argue is a very bad deal for the man. No, it is. I mean, again, could like, you imagine if I decided I wanted to wear a dress on Saturdays? That's my point. I like, want and I or I wanted to pick and choose when I protect masculine you. Masculine men are also going down. We have a lot of men that aren't as masculine as they used to be. Like. A lot of men don't know how to put up a TV in a home, change a tire, find a stud finder, like Con. simple, I Paint. feel like are manly Rich. things to do because I don't know how to do them. Yeah, well, I mean, that comes from the lack of fatherhood and the lack of fathers in the family, which I would argue women overwhelmingly initiate divorce and they break up the family. So again, not to put it back on women, again, but picking part well, you of literally the tradition, just said though. That yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You said before that men are out there cheating. So how can you say that women break up families when um, infidelity is not the main precursor for divorce? It's money. It's money. Yeah, it's money. It's money. That's why men and just men need rarely, to make if more ever, money. I mean, well, that comes back to not having fathers. You know, men acting more emotional. Men not understanding that there is a burden of performance. All it kind of it's, it's a vicious cycle. But going back to what Miss Hungry was saying, uh, women overwhelmingly initiate divorce, not men. Uh, like worldwide or in the U.S. Um. Pretty much any first world modern country Western where country. there's no fault divorce, yeah. women overwhelmingly initiate. But I don't know about Hungary in particular, but, now but that doesn't mean the father has to be upset. upset. But we are just dealing like, in a society where women are initiating divorce because they feel like they can go find. You see women dating like 20 years younger than them. It was never happening when I was a kid. Like I never yeah. saw a woman at my school dating a 25 year old and she was in her 40s. We never saw that. Well, that's because she's run out of options as well. This is true. A 40 year old woman, quite frankly, is like an 18 year old boy. Both are useless. Picking and choosing parts no of the offense. tradition, though. Picking and choosing. Like, as, I feel like as a quote unquote modern day woman, like you have to go back to that traditional set, you know, like upkeeping your home or helping, helping in places where your man sees fit. Yeah. My man was making a certain amount of money, but I needed it to be, I needed it to be a little bit more. So I presented what would make more and he executed it on his own. But I just knew I just connected the dots. You just, did, you know yeah, you mean? have to let them cool. be, man. That's good. That's right. good. Um, yeah, but yeah, Miss Hungry. Yeah, so um, women women initiate the divorce. So I would say uh, the, a big reason why so many guys are lackluster is there's a lack of uh, masculine leaders out there, men being men. So yeah. All right, and then uh, can you translate or no? <laughs> Yeah. Um, She's like, hell no, I'm done with this. Eric got this. Eric I, got this it. conversation just got Don't me worry. like. Miss Columbia, Eric's right telling now. you right now in Spanish what what uh. Oh, Eric's so I'm busy. Okay, what about you? Oh All right. my god, she no. got it. Hasta el momento no. For, for the moment, no, nothing. Okay, nothing. Never. You never, never been curved? No, never. Okay. No. Okay. Never. El Cape. What about, <laughs> <laughs> right. what about you, Miss South Africa? Um. Probably just when I was too drunk, to be honest. Oh damn! Yeah, I was just okay. Somebody keep it like, real. I was just drank way too much. Went for someone, and I was like, White next morning wasted. woke up, and I was like, fair. I would have also curved me. Like fair, I give it to you. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, go out fresh. You had a video or something like that, or did you want to keep it in the chats? Yeah, uh, chats in the video. Okay. What, what's the? Well, okay. Yeah. This will precursor the actual video. All right. So, ladies, do you think you're gonna be more attractive? When you're older 
are right now? When I'm older. You're older? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like merch. The body gonna give, you know, I'm gonna grow into my looks and I'm Saggy. just gonna carry myself a different way. Saggy. Okay. What about you? Honestly, I think I'm just getting better with time. Black of the sweet, the, sorry, what is it? The black of the berry, the sweeter the juice, For the sure. older the time, the more the, the goose. The better the wine or whatever. I'm just talking shit. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell that is. But no, so I just older? feel like, yeah, older. Okay. Yeah. For you? I think right now, maybe. Right now? Yeah. Why? I mean, she's 18, you know, I'm 27. So, like, I guess I have a few more years. Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to be a male. Like, I'm going to be hot. But, like, obviously... I'm gonna look a different after having children. We should let's 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 um, make because there's such an age discrepancy between the ladies here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say now or when you're 35. Th there you go. Okay, then um, um, now. You know what? Okay. Yeah. To be even better, 40. Okay. Then now, yeah. Because no? okay. I really like 35. Is still okay. going back to. Still? Do you still t take your two answers, ladies? Yeah. 40. You think 40 will be 40? better? 40 will be better. Okay. I For can you. Invest more in my toes. Now. Obviously. Okay. Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now and I'll get a good doctor. Worst case. Okay. Like, Wait. Now. What did Miss North Carolina say? No. Oh. I said now. You said now. Okay. And then you and you said later. Or I said now, now and now. later with a good doctor. Okay. Okay. For you, now or later, are you more attractive to men? I feel like merch. Merch. <laughs> now. Merch. You no. said now. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. What about you? I'm gonna say now instead of at 35. Yeah. Why? Um. I mean, honestly. I don't know. I'm only, you got the power. I'm, right. I'm 20. I'm, I'm, I'm young. So I'm going to oh. definitely say now. Okay. I'm going to say older. Older? Yeah. Why older? I I feel like I'm still... Right now I'm 25. But oh, I, I feel like that 10-year mark for me will hit me good. 35 is my... <laughs> okay. Chris, Chris what did you say? <laughs> no, 25. I was like, ooh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Chris. You couldn't let alone a dirty cup here now. Okay. Oh, uh... Chris got it. He's on. I mean, Eric's on. Got it. He's on it. You got it, Miss Columbia. Dime, dime. Repeat, please. Now. Now. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of course. What about you? <laughs> Probably now, but like, give me three years, and what? then I'll be like, right now. Why three and years? Because like I'm still a little young, you know. Like I'm still. How old are you? No, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So give me like so, 21, yeah. 22, I think I'll be good. But like when I'm 40, I'm, uh, I don't know. I want to be like settled and like just be like, I don't really care what I look like then. So, anymore, but still, white does crack. Uh, just so I make sure I have this correct. <laughs> um, you two said older. Um, and then who else said, and then you yeah. said older. Yeah. So three girls total think they're going to be more attractive older? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. She and me too. All right. So we got a video. What's that? My mom. Yeah. That um, is true. Um, the women in your family will let you know my what you're going to look like. My mom is 46 like. and she looks like she's 30. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. All right, so we got Fair videos enough. to play right we now. We got a video real, real, real quick uh, from TikTok. Uh, so this dating, is user submitted, right? So dating over 40. She's talking about her hardships of being 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure it's unmuted. 40 plus. Um, all right. Let's uh, react. Let's play the real clip. Go ahead. TikTok. You know, it's crazy because I um, joke a lot about being single and, you know, I, um, I laugh it off. This thing, bro, stop it. But I'm 46 years old. And while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything, bruh, it dawned on me. Stop the sound effects. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. <laughs> I don't have a husband to help me get ready. I'm 46 years old and I'm still in my mama <laughs> to take care of me. Full stop. I still need my sister, which whether I had a husband or not, they would they would be there. 
Damn. It sucks. Being single and 46 mm. sucks. That's it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it just sucks. It's, it's, it keeps, it's it keeps going. What, does she say anything else relevant or no? Mo? No? No. And I make jokes about okay, wait, the fucking buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed her own this is my reality. This is my reality and this those stories are the shit that's available because all the good men have gotten married in their 20s and 30s because gotcha, they're good men. <laughs> I'm not blaming it all on men because women are fucking shit. They fucking bat shit crazy too. So, but um, this is my reality. All right, pause this else. thing. I got a question for the ladies real quick. Damn it. All right, ladies. Um, okay, so I have a question for you. Do you feel sorry for her, or was it her own fault that she's single at 46? We'll start here in South, South Africa and work our way. Go ahead. Is it her fault, or um, do you feel sorry for her? Uh, w sound effects, by the way. That's just hilarious. You can give it to us raw. It's fine. Um, Pause. Pause. I don't think that I feel sorry for her, mm -hmm. but I also don't think it's her fault. There is obviously some response. There is some responsibility on her half. Um, in terms of like, maybe she didn't put herself out in the correct ways. Maybe she didn't like expose herself to men at the age where you like, where society tells you that you should be meeting men. So between twenty and twenty-seven, you know, that's when society tells you. This is the age you should be meeting the men that you want to spend the rest of your life with. So she could par partially blame herself for not putting herself out there. Um, but I, I also don't feel sorry for her because, like, like why should I? You know. Okay. Um, right, I, don't, I don't relate to her. Okay. I can't. There's yeah. I don't. I don't have sympathy or empathy for her because of the situation. You can respond in Spanish. In Spanish? Yeah, respond in Spanish, and then uh, give give uh, Chris uh, Eric the um, mic so that he can translate it. Go ahead, respond in Spanish. To Eric's question. Okay. No, la verdad, no entendí Mike. mucho porque mi inglés es poquito. No entendí mucho porque mi inglés es poquito. My English is little, you know. Okay. So maybe me sienta mal. Mm. Estoy como un, un intermedio. You know? She says that she didn't really understand it all because of her English. Um, oh. But she says that she, so, she, she doesn't know. If she summarize it for her real quick. 46-year-old woman crying that she's single and she can't find a guy and that she's not, not locked down in, with the thing. Do that for her on the talk back while we move on to the next girl. Go ahead. Um, Is it her fault? Or um, do you feel sorry for her? Do you feel sorry for her or was it her fault? That's the question. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I feel somewhat sorry for her. Okay. Why? Um, because probably when she was in her younger age of 25, 27, becoming a mom, because I saw there's a car seat in the back, mm -hmm. um, maybe she had to deal with guy cheating. Maybe she had to deal with insecurities. Maybe she had to deal with, you know, mm -hmm. mom life and not really attending to her man that was her man at that time. And I don't feel sorry for her because I just don't think you should give up. You should just keep going and, you know, just develop that relationship with yourself first and then look for someone. Because my mom is 46. She's single. And she doesn't stop looking either. I, I give her that motivation. That has nothing to do with it. You don't think age has to do with it? No, because there's women that are in their 50s and they find love. There's women that are in their... <laughs> 
there there's women that are older and they find love. You just don't give up. If you if you die alone, you die alone. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. Chewy. How many people you know fifty like finding love? Like my grand's like eighty. My cousin's she's got a ninety old boy. My cousin's mom. Yeah. I have a lot of friends that have older my well, when I was forty six, my friends' moms are like in their fifties. Actually together, happy. Yeah. Actually, you want to give an? I'll give you an example. My aunt was married with my uncle for 19 years, high school sweethearts, and her marriage. He just literally left the divorce paper on the bed and walked out with a mitch, the mistress from his job. And three years later, she found a wonderful Haitian man. Yes, sir. And BBC. got remarried, and now they've been together for four years, traveling the world. So, and mm. she's 48 years old. So I don't think you should give up on love. So you don't feel sorry for her. You feel somewhat sorry for her because maybe she went through some things in her life and uh, with bad guys, and then she shouldn't give up at forty six. Right. Okay. What about you? Do you feel sorry for her, and was it her fault? Okay. So on one side, I don't feel sorry for her because I feel like at forty seven, you have had enough men approach you or try to get with you to the point where <laughs> you could have at least found one guy to marry you and stick Facts. by your side. So if you, you know, didn't get that, you probably just rejected all of them and you didn't want to give it a chance. However, on the other side, I feel like as women, we and especially in this generation, we don't have the best role models. Like the girls that we see that are getting flown out, the girls that are getting all the followers and like the type of lifestyle that most people want to live. They're doing things that most guys say, oh, I don't like that. I don't want to wife that. But us as women, we're looking at that and we want that lifestyle and we see that we have to act this way to get there. So I feel like maybe, you know, she thought that like what she was doing would get her to a certain place. And then like it all kind of came crashing down her face. So on one side, I do feel bad for her. But then on the other side, I can kind of see like, yeah, you you had your chance at by the time you were 47. Okay. Miss Cuba? Um, I do and I don't just okay. because at that age, kind of going back to what she said. So you don't, ladies. Don't flip flop. Just give us one straight one. You, it's very obvious you don't feel sorry. Give us, tell us why. You don't got to be politically correct. This is fresh and fit. I mean, I feel like merch. At some point, you have you have to um like focus on yourself <clears throat> and love yourself so that you can attract a better person. So maybe she's just not doing the inner work to find better. And so she keeps coming across the same thing. And that's why she's by herself. Okay. So you don't feel bad because you don't think she does. She's done the inner work. Correct. Okay. What about you? No, there's billions of people on this earth. And you're telling me she couldn't find one. <laughs> she should have got a therapist at 35. <laughs> okay. So you don't feel sorry for her either that she could have, she had options. She's having kids, but she can't get commitment. It's her okay. own problem. Okay. What about you, Miss North Carolina? I mean, I feel bad for her because she seems okay. really unhappy with her reality. But okay. I also do think it is her fault because, like they said before, like she's probably had multiple chances to settle down with the guy and she hasn't. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel sorry for her that much either because, like, as they said, you know, there are always dudes in the friend zone or, like, someone you can get out of the bushes and, you know, yep. that she, I'm sure she had someone, he, she just didn't want him. Like, there are always dudes waiting for you to break up. <laughs> so you don't feel bad because she had options? Yeah, I'm sure she had options. I mean, she's not a bad-looking woman. Even at, no, She didn't even look 46 to me. Yeah, she's like 50. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I empathize with her. I'm sure every woman has felt down in the dumps about having multiple partners and feeling lack of commitment at some capacity, whether that's one partner, two partners, whatever it is for you. I show empathy. I cannot sympathize or em I show empathy because I can't fully relate. I, I can relate, but I can't. Wouldn't it be the other way around? You show sympathy no, because I'm you can't. No, I'm saying I can empathize because I, I can relate. Oh, I'm you saying. can relate. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying okay. I can. Okay. Um, sympathize would be if I couldn't. Yeah, no, no, no. no I know. I thought you said you can't relate. Okay. No. Go ahead. We're good. Um, so I definitely have em empathy for her. Um, like I said, that's not contingent on age feeling. I'm not even, I'm not her age. Um, and what was the other question? Um, is it her fault? Probably. Okay. I mean, so you feel sorry for her, but it was her fault. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I give her accountability because she acknowledged the suckiness of her reality. And at that point, you're probably looking on into all 46 of your years. Like, where did I go wrong? Where did I go askew? Uh, so I also, I mean, I, I can't feel bad for her because she's already taken the first step. 
you've been accountable, but now also what are you going to do about it? Because now you're saying it sucks, but I, I never heard her say that she gives up on love, mm-hmm. but she's also not saying I'm going to keep trying. Okay. So that's where I don't feel necessarily bad because it's like, okay, you acknowledged it, but what are you going to do after this? You're not saying that, you know, maybe they they feel too defeated. I can understand in that moment, they're truthfully emotionally, you know, feeling overwhelmed and I can understand that. So hopefully now she bounced back and was like, you know, I'm putting myself out there. But in that moment, I'm like, thank okay. you for acknowledging it. But what is the next step? You All know? right. Miss Columbia, you got the question. You got it now? He, he told you? Okay. You can respond in okay. Spanish. Eh, yo siempre he pensado que uno tiene el poder de cambiar su vida. ¿Sí me entendés? Mm. So, puede que sienta lástima en parte mm. porque no se lo merece. Uno no sabe qué ha vivido ella, cómo lo ha vivido y qué tan buena madre haya sido, mm. y lo otro es que tú puedes cambiarlo, so, sí, estoy sí. Entre, en un 50-50, mm. tú tienes el poder de cambiar tu vida, si tú estás con alguien o en un lugar donde tú no te sientes bien, tú misma tienes que decidir cambiarlo. She's saying you can basically decide to change it if you want to, it's up to you. Right. Wait, Correct. Wait. Our official linguist. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I never said that. That's his no, 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 not you. Not you. I was, I was looking at, I was looking at no, our official no, linguist. She, he agrees with you. She summarized it very well. Okay. Sure. So, so basically, what is it again? It's up to you. Yeah, she's saying it's basically uh, that. So yeah, she don't feel sorry for her, and it's up to her. She says she kind of is fifty-fifty. She uh-huh. says she does feel bad for her that she still has the power to change it. Basically. Gotcha. All right. And then, uh, what about you? What are your thoughts? Do you feel sorry for her, and was it her fault? Um, I feel like she's too grown to be crying on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me, though. But right. um, I do feel like... Merch. Um, so you don't feel sorry for her? No, I don't. Okay. No. And but, but continue up. on. You were talking about she's too um, old. Yeah, she's too grown to be crying on any type of social media platform. Um, it gives, like, a call for attention and... She's dick deprived. She needs a man. <laughs> oh shit! So I don't I know if she's dick like, deprived. You know, Maybe relationship deprived. I guess you could say that. Yes, yeah. I wouldn't say dick deprived. Yes, relationship deprived. But yeah, she. It's not too late. You okay. Know, it's not too late. I got a question for y'all. For her, if if a dude went on, um, let's say a guy, right? Let's go into a dream scenario real fast, okay? Let's say. Oh, we're dreaming. Hell, fresh. What are you doing, nigga? Oh, shout out to Steve. We'll do it, man. Steve will do it in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Steve. Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Ladies, let's go into a dream scenario real quick. Let's say a 20-year-old guy got on TikTok, right? And he basically was like, yo, listen, I can't get no bad bitches. You know what I mean? And I'm causing, you know, sick. Bro, get, just get off set, man. You distracted me, bro. Yo. Snigga, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's say, right? Fresh, fresh. Just just, just, just go. Handle the call, bro. Just, just go. This nigga, man. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So let's go into a journey scenario, right? Let's say a guy goes on TikTok, right? 20 years old, lives with his mom, a little bit obese, doesn't have all this shit together, right? And he's like, yo, um, <clears throat> yo, I can't get no girls. No woman respects me. No bad bitch wants me. This is fucking bullshit. I can't get laid. This sucks. Would you guys laugh at him or take him seriously for saying that? No. You'd, you wouldn't feel sorry for him at all, right? No. Would it be fair to say that you wouldn't feel sorry for him because he hasn't put in the work and he hasn't created enough value for girls to take him seriously? The same thing with her. Same thing. Two-way street. Like, no, it's not the same thing at all. How? She could have went to the gym. She was getting surgery. She was trying. No. The problem is that the guy hasn't created his money yet. Her, she spent all her money. Oh, I see. Let me explain. Okay. I see you Let me explain. <laughs> So that same guy that goes on TikTok that's crying, that say, I can't get no bad bitches. He's 21 years old, loser, living with his mom, whatever. He hasn't created enough value for women to take him seriously and respect him. The problem with her is that she spent all her money. So in other words, that guy, he's got to make his money first. She spent all her money. Okay. I look at it like this. When a woman reaches a certain age and she's not with a man, she's quite effectively wasted all of her youth, all of her money, all of her value because men look for different things than women do. So at the top of the show, we asked you guys, yo, do you think you have more value now to the opposite gender or later on? Some of you guys said later on, and I would tell you that that's a very bad mindset to have because the thing is, is that you're always going to lose to younger, more beautiful women. Let's say you're 40 years old and you're killing it. You're in shape. You, you're on top of your game. You're aware of the world, whatever. You're never going to be as attractive to men as you were 20 years prior. I already know that. So why would you say you're more attractive older? Because that's for me. And not for the person. I want it for me. Okay, but unfortunately, what you want and what men want are two different things. That's fine. 
if I can sit here and say, well, I want to eat Cheetos and be a loser and play video games, but women aren't going to respect me or date me or give me a chance, correct? Right. So you can't necessarily impose what you want on the opposite gender. So I think the difference is, is that with men, we have to accept reality. If we want to get women, we have to self-improve. With women, y'all just think you should be taken no matter what. And I think the, rea- the what this woman is starting to realize is that she's no longer being accepted and being able to coast on her youth and beauty. She's actually got to bring more to the table. And let me tell you guys this too. I don't know if y'all saw it. She's 46 years old. She looks fantastic for 46. But I promise you, she looks really good for 46. And she has no makeup on either. And her eyes are bloodshot red, crying. I guarantee you 20 years prior, she was probably top of her fucking game, had offers from all types of men. But the problem is that no one was good enough. And she didn't consolidate on the right guy. So I just have a genuine question because sure. ladies, I feel like we can really contest to this. Mm-hmm. There are very few men that are willing to settle down at the same age that we are. How can I bag a man? Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> knock on wood, because I saw what y'all did to her when she said she got a man on lock. Y'all about to tell me I'm about to get cheated on. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> okay, but what do I do when it's like, hey, I'm in my 20s. I'm at my prime. I feel young, beautiful, fine, and confident. Yeah. I want to attract a suitor that wants to be monogamous with me. Mm-hmm. Men now flip script. Hi, you'll do it. Steve will do it in the building. Hey, what up, man? Hello. Yeah, give me a shit. What up? Yeah, what up, bro? Uh, let's pull up a chair for Steve. Get him in. But it's uh, like. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> shout out to Steve. We'll do in the What's fucking up? house, man. What up, Steve? <laughs> they can't cancel you, bro. <laughs> Yo, yeah, let's get him a chair. Forever, man. Got yeah, we got, we got him right now. Can I do a super chat? No, man, no, 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 no bro. You, you, can, you can chill. You can sit on the panel. No, let's chat. let's no, get him a chair. W. Steve in the Hurry chat, up. man. W. Steve in the chat. No, so I'm going to see Andrew Tate in Dubai. What do you guys think about that? That's my. That's gonna chat. be lit. That's what gonna be lit. No, nigga. No, bro, no, 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 bro. No, no, no. no. Steve, man, Steve. You're coming and crashing the party. <laughs> Steve, we ain't taking that, man. Steve, what the? Man, just showed up and now he's good. Now he's good. Now he's gone. She got two of them. You were too slow. Yeah, I should have got the whole thing. You saw how she got two. Girl, you did good. Yeah, you did real good. I got one, though. See, we'll do it. Fucking show him up, man. I fucking hate this guy. Come on, now. I'm, I'm true to this, not new to this. Hey, yo, it's Chestnut Checkers. You <laughs> feel me? No, but I told you I made an M. Come on. Ooh. Imagine. Love you guys. Yeah. W- Thanks, Steve. W- Appreciate it. They can't cancel them. They cancel them on YouTube. Uh, dude donates hundreds of thousands of dollars to impoverished children, impoverished people all over the world. Yet they want to cancel them, but they keep idiots on uh, on YouTube all day. So shout, shout to Steve. Steve will do we'll it. Do it, man. W in the chat for Steve. Yeah, we'll do shout it, man. to Steve. will do it, man. Pulling guess, up. Guess who else is? I should not say that. I hate this guy. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Don't say who else is here. Yeah. Don't say who. <laughs> well, listen, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so going back to, sorry, what, no, it's okay. a distraction. Ultimately, your, your I'm question. just trying to say is like, how do we as young women, when we're in our prime and feel like we're the most suitable to men, what do we do? Because we're, we're condemned for going after men that are too old. We're then told we're only seeking them for financial benefit and men our age aren't even at the financial suit that they need to be because they are just now starting their careers. They are just now, as you said, starting to make their money. What do I do? That's a fantastic question. Uh, no, man. That's the girls. That's the girls. Let the girls have it, man. Who's that king goodbye? Is that over here? Trick or treat? Has to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker. Going back to what I was saying. So, as far as like, you know, with women and, and men and everything else like that, you can't listen. Because let's be honest, who condemns women for dating up and dating guys that have men. like guys do to a degree, but it's really women that shame each other the most. No, we're over here. You, you see how I just cheered on every girl for getting that. Shout out to Steve. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to shoot a woman here at this table for getting her bread. I'm not going to be mad at a lady for being able to get a man with more money. Yeah, I'm y'all don't do tight. it in public. You guys no, bash each other behind the let's scenes. Be, let's be real. Let's be real here. I'm not bashing her because of what she did. I'm mad because I couldn't do it. No, no, it's, it's not that. What I'm saying is that in general, women move. Move, women move in silence like lasagna. And what I mean by that is they, they should talk each other. There's a lot of, you know, pseudo things going on, a lot of like, you know, subliminal stuff. So women don't, typically don't diss each other, you know, outward, outwardly. So what I'm saying is that it's women that actually bash each other the most and make each other ashamed to be, embrace their femininity, whatever it may be. But what I am saying is that it's on the girl to pick a guy that's older than them. Do I need a man that's older than me or a man that's financially secure? Because some older men don't even make as much money as some of the women at this table. No, that's true. That's 100% true. But what? But when you date a man that's older, the likelihood of him having more life experience, the likelihood of him being more um, experienced in general with life, having more confidence and having more ambition, 
making more money, etc., go up as he ages. So what happens to the 30 year old man in his parents' basement? We live in South Florida. You don't pick those guys. Well, does that mean that those, okay, so I don't pick those guys, Yeah, don't pick but them. at the same rate, am I condemned for not going after a man who's readily available no. because I see my options there. I see a man that has bread, but the man who's 30 years old and lives at the basement could treat me better. You just told me not to pick, to pick that guy, but he could realistically treat me better than the man who makes bread. But you just told me not to pick that guy. Yeah, because he's going to treat you better because he's inadequate in other uh, certain things. So like they'll he'll treat you better, right? He might be nicer to you. He'll be the he'll be a nice guy. All this other stuff, but he's not going to be able to provide for you. He's not going to be able to give you a certain lifestyle. And deep down, guys know that there's a burden of performance. Okay. So, so if he's not able to provide, he's got to compensate some way. I give an example. Okay. I'm not going to mention her name, but there was a girl that came on this show that has a very bad promiscuous past. Okay. You guys could probably figure it out on your own. And quite, she has had sex on camera. Everyone knows who she is. Thotty, cloud chaser, fucking a bunch of guys. So when she dates men, knowing that her past sucks and people can't take her seriously, she compensates by buying them things, uh, spoiling them, paying for bills, etc. She's going way out of what she's supposed to do as a woman because she knows that her past is fucked up and she doesn't qualify for certain types of men. That's how a lot of guys feel when they're not able to provide for you, they'll start to take on more feminine roles. They'll start to be more submissive, et cetera, which actually makes them less attractive. Mm. But so, it's not even uh, always about- It's on about the woman to, to pick the winner is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I mean, it's not even always about the money. What, you, like, what I understood what she was saying is that guys in their 20s, regardless money, they don't want to settle down. Like guys in their 20s don't usually don't want a family yet, don't want to a wife yet, don't want- Anyone. And that's that's on the woman to be able to identify that, pick that, and be able to pick the best guy. Because let's be honest, women are gifted with the ability to read social cues, to be able to interpret what's going on socially far better than men are. Men can't read signs as well as women. I mean, a woman can walk in the room and kind of figure out, hmm, something off about her. She's a bitch. This dude's a weirdo, etc. Women have um, supreme social cues over men. Yeah, no, what I'm trying to say is that... Um even you know like we date older men and then people say like oh it's because you're after the bread after the money but like even if a guy had money and bread in his 20s he wouldn't want to settle down right like he wouldn't want to i mean it's up to the woman to find that man in his 20s or 30s that's looking yeah to there are down. men but there, are, there are but they don't want a woman that's been around the block like they don't want to deal with that like yeah. my man was very adamant like i haven't talked to anybody in new york that was one of the key factors. He didn't want somebody that had been <laughs> the outside. They can run that. Like, <laughs> like, well, she's not caring about him not wanting that. That's true. Like, guys are not going to want a girl that's been for everybody. But continue. Sorry. But that's I my know, point. Like, I... you know, like men look for a woman that hasn't been with any type of past. Like that qualify when you haven't been like around the block. It qualifies you again, like to push for that ring because he knows you're not an embarrassment to take outside. There you go. You know what I mean? Like. When you're wholesome and you don't do anything, yeah, well, you're not I, wasn't, outside. I wasn't talking about but the women's side rich, at all. That rich man will that. commit and settle down. But I think her question not. is 20 year old guys don't want to commit. And I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. They do um, for the right woman. Like, regardless to women. I no, know. A man is going to give a woman like a ring less. if he wants it. Yeah, but mm. uh, here's the thing, uh, ladies, you got to remember that men typically don't want to commit, period. You know what I mean? Like, Guys typically don't. If, if a man was left to his own devices, he would have his main girl and have a bunch of other girls that he's fucking and he doesn't really commit that that much. He commits something to like the main girl. Maybe if she has kids with him Let's or whatever. Let's associate but, commitment with a ring though. It's Because so, that's really what it represents. Marriage and a ring associates with commitment. So but like yes. I want kids more than a husband though. Like I will. So you would give that. a man, a, you would risk your life to give a man a legacy that won't give you commitment? I'm gonna be no, so not honest with you. People die in from marriage. Is a pe marriage is a piece of paper. People are getting married yeah, less and less now. It's like it, it means the paper. more. Exactly. But if you're going off of the you, traditional, like, I don't want the, the paper. Traditional one, life. one I don't mic want at a time, name. ladies. One mic at a time. Uh, go, go ahead, hungry. You had something, and then and then she can respond. Go ahead. No, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying, like you know, like meaning. Obviously, ideally, I would want a husband and children and have a nice family. But like, if I don't have that, I I would maybe adopt children or like I don't know. It's easy to get pregnant children. out here. But, <laughs> <laughs> but again, yeah, I, I think I, I I think we're talking past each other. What she's saying is that men that are younger to, don't want to commit. What I'm saying is that it's yeah. on you to find a guy that's a little bit older that is willing to commit. And you'll know there, there's they're gonna have certain type types of mannerisms and traits. And it, also the thing too, ladies, is that. You have to perform to get that commitment, too. I think a lot of girls think, like, I'm just going to show up, be pretty, and he'll give me the commitment. And the reality is you need to earn that commitment. The more attractive the man is, 
the harder you're going to have to work for that commitment from that man. So I, I almost want to piggyback off that. And yeah, it goes sure. off a point that we did earlier. You know yeah. what I mean? What makes a woman attractive? Because if I'm just young and beautiful to you now, what mm -hmm. are the additional layers? Because prior you said my money, my accolades, my education aren't going to really yeah. assist with retention. Yeah. It's my youth and beauty. So what makes me attractive? Well, mm -hmm. okay. So, so we got it. We got to okay. differentiate here. There's two important distinctions. There's, Sexual attraction, then there's relationship attraction. Mm -hmm. So what you're referring to is sexual attraction. She's hot, her foot's in the door. Cool. Now that your foot's in the door, how are you going to keep me? And I would argue most girls suck at keeping guys around long term. They use their sexuality to attract the man, right? And then the guy gets the sex or he gets the intimacy from her, realizes she doesn't offer much value, and then that's when guys start to pull back and not want to deal with the girl anymore because she doesn't offer enough utility outside of sex, especially if he's an attractive man. Because he has plenty of girls that can give him sex. So how do you differentiate? And I would argue most girls can't differentiate. So um, the sexual attraction is not to be conflated with the relationship attraction. Okay. I feel like that retention is also just built from your utility and how you make your man's life easier and where you fit in to help him. Yes. If you know that your man works 40 hours a week, how are you helping? You know, is food ready? Is clothes clean? Like making his life less of an inconvenience is how you retain that relationship and you build on that, you know, especially I mean, if he's providing. That's only for the women that are put up. I mean, think <laughs> about it. If you're irreplaceable, why did he get rid of you? I mean, like, you're adding value to his life. Damn. I wake up, food is there, coffee is there. She's helping me with, like, my because, work. Damn. Yeah. She's lit. Yo, gonna... You really want to keep a guy around, ladies? Just be like, listen, I don't really care if you fuck with the girls. What? That's the hardest thing. I know. I was just I know. say that. I know. Me. But hold Lost on, hold on. Me. Yo, yo, yo. Critical thinking, ladies. I need you to think critically <laughs> and not with your feelings. Use some critical thinking. Most women are not okay with that, right? Bullet. Well, hold on. Most women are not okay with that, right? So if you are able to go against the grain and be like, listen, I know you have urges. You want to have sex with other girls. Be safe about it. Don't fucking bring anything back. I love you. You're my man. Fuck these other hoes. You know how much, how profound that will be to the man? Facts. That's so pick me. Fuck your feelings for two seconds. I know you're making weird faces, but I'm telling you, if you do that, that will set you apart from all the other girls because a lot of other girls have egos. They think they're special. They think my pussy is the best pussy. It's wet and best. Bro, ladies, the best thing you can do is take yourself off the pedestal, realize you're not that special, there's a new girl turning 18 every single day, what value do you offer outside of your pussy? And most girls can't name anything. One big one that you can name is, I don't care what you do sexually, I'm the main girl, I'm gonna provide for you, I'm gonna stand, for you, stand by you, not provide for you financially, but I'm gonna be here, your support system, no matter what. That right there will set you apart. He ain't gonna forget that shit. I That's some real game for you, ladies. Sucks. I'd rather suck a baseball through a Capri Sun straw. No, I God honestly, damn. no but I'm not even gonna lie to you because I'm, I'm not even gonna count. Well, some girl doing that to your guy right now, probably. So. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I, 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 no, no, no disrespect to you guys, but yeah, no disrespect to anything. I feel like at that point, I can just tell you whatever you want to hear. I, let's be honest with I can say whatever I can say right here right now because it mean, would be a lot I don't give a fuck if you fuck other bitches listen I'm yours you know what mm -hmm. I'm just telling you whatever you want to hear at that point and I'm not even gonna lie if my dude's making a billion dollars I know I got my own bread or at least I snuck that MasterCard too mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I'm gonna just tell you whatever you want to hear to keep you I don't actually care yeah, for but you here's a problem you're though. financially attractive there isn't a problem because we can live in a fantasy baby if you come into a commas hey <laughs> amnesia you know what I mean don't know the right guys there you guys this go is yeah. the thing. Yeah. at the end of the day what you are advising us to do is yeah. just say whatever they want to hear yeah, I can tell you whatever you want to hear to keep peace but at that point it's fake so do you want a woman who's gonna be real and tell you hey this actually affects me and i prefer you didn't do it in a calm voice because you're not gonna you want to do it anyway yeah i mean at the end of the day uh, you want to do it words, anyway so it's like, uh, like that's what i'm saying actions are actions words are words it's, yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter what i say or do you're gonna do it anyway so what, you said it too like I? you said well i could play the game and, and lie about it that's cool but the difference is this a man could play the game get the sex and walk out you have to continuously keep the mask on to keep the relationship going See the difference? We're both putting mask on a mask because you not. have to put on a mask Which in front of me to tell I, me what I need to hear to stay. No, 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 no. You're missing Man. the point. Men can get away with short-term lying. Women can't. Get what I'm saying here? Because if you, you, you can't lie long-term in a relationship, at some point it's going to get exposed is what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, like, what I, I don't can lie know short -term won't and get hurt the sex. Me. Was that? What I don't know can never hurt me. There you go. I no, will. No, I no, will no, say no, that no. if I'm not aware of it, like it's not right. happening. It doesn't exist in my world. You okay. know, it Listen, doesn't. We've spoken to over 1,600 girls, and it's come apparent to me 
that girls want to be in fantasy land. You could do you could do the most for I her. I love my fantasy. You could cheat on her. Just don't put her in her face. Don't embarrass her, and yeah. she'll be fine. Yeah, no, no, you know, I want to know. It's not I happening. You're not going to convince me. Hey, man. <laughs> really? You want to know? I do want to know. Yes. Why? Because you're 18. Because what are you going to do about it? Like, no. What are you going to no, do about like, it? Be for real. Like, no, All right. I'll be for real with you right now. I want to have sex with other girls. You're going to be loyal to me. I'm going to go and exercise options. However, you got to be closed on your end. No. There See? you go. Uh, uh, there we go. That's why niggas <laughs> can't be honest. <laughs> right. Know, there you go. It's just like, I, me personally, I want to know what you're doing. I you know, just told you. For what? <laughs> and you can't accept because, it. Because, like, like, no, 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 no. For what? No, no. I just want to know. Why? No, no. There must be a reason. Why? Like, what are you doing? What are you going to change? Fucking, what's going to happen? Either Sex. we're going to be together, you're going to be loyal, or we're not going to be together at all. You like, said you want the truth. He just told you the truth. Okay, so then me and him just not going to be together. Okay. So, okay. Well, so, perfect example, right? I want you. I'm not telling you the truth. You're going to go away. Why well, tell you the truth? I'm going to yeah. lie to you. Yeah, like, fuck. The fuck? Like, <laughs> does it make sense? Girls find out everything. I, just wanna, yeah. I guess it's a follow-up yeah. question. But then why you, do you want to be with her? If no, you want to I'm thing. busy yeah. milking so, her. Think about it, right? If I meet a girl, right? I'm, I'm, I'm saying general, not me. Because I'm a man of God. I don't lie. <laughs> if I'm with a girl, right? And I know for a matter of fact that she's a good girl. She's awesome. Amazing. Mm. I was by, 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 I to my life. I don't want to lose her. So... I know if I tell her the truth, she's going to go away. Like, oh, no, I don't want that. Cool. Bet. But if I tell you what you want to hear, you're probably going to just stay and take it. Even though you know I'm getting other, other girls on the side, it's like you want to be in that fantasy world. Kind of like you. Okay. But, if uh, she, if first you off, my her... fantasy, it's a great life. I live, I, I'm going on vacation next month yeah, for 30 sure. days. I have a great life. Dubai? No, we're going to Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. Yeah. Okay. I just want to know, too, if you tell me that, mm. right, am I allowed to be like, okay, well, if you want to sleep with other girls, and that's what you want to keep it to yourself, is it cool if I sleep with other guys? No. You could do, do whatever you want to do. Just know, so we're you, both doing no, whatever we want to do. Just no, no, hold on. Just that's no, it. When you do that, your stuff is outside the house. We're done. She belongs but to you just told me. So I'm confused. Yeah. So I can't be closed. I can't tell you we're done when you leave. But you can tell me we're done. We leave. Men and women are different. But See, you have to understand. the problem is, there is that like, you if, wouldn't want a you on you. That's the difference. No, no. Problem is, if you <laughs> like, go do it right, you uh-huh. might get pregnant. You might go ahead. What and if like, I'm on birth control? I use condoms, and on top of that, guess what? But I don't even let him come in me. But you're still okay. allowing a man so to put what something you inside I'm, of you. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you care about the man, he's a man for you. Why would you want to go and fuck somebody else? If you care about the woman and she's the one for you, Thank why you. would you want to go but fuck somebody else? Thank you. Men and women are different. We men are. can go fuck a girl and still love the girl at home. Okay. Like, is it like, it's but like, if but I you know, just said, like, but, you don't want to hurt someone you love, and you so just said, like, she's dude. cool, yeah. but you know it's going to hurt her. That is why I said, if she, if she doesn't know, it won't hurt her. But this is the thing. But if you and I, I are, just saying. my thing is that, too, I, I'm not seeing it. Like, maybe, I don't know, ladies, I'm not seeing the issue. If you tell me I want to sleep with other girls, and I tell you, all right, bet. I'm trying to sleep with other dudes. You can get pregnant. Yes. Uh, girl, no, I don't even know if I can, can get, get pregnant. Someone a lot pregnant. of people don't actually know their <laughs> like, fertility. And that's still, something I realized like, a lot of the day. Still, some of like, us are saying we can get pregnant and we don't actually know if we can get pregnant. Well, and a lot of dudes are smoking woods and doing weed and drinking crazy. Your sperm count is low. <laughs> it's Facts. low. So what, wait, what are wait. we out here saying? Like, you can get pregnant. Girl, I don't know if I can get pregnant. But, but, but still, I you have to understand that. But you're like, a woman is an open wound. You're allowing people to put stuff inside of you. So you're okay with your man cheating on you and getting the woman pregnant and then leaving whose man any man because if no, she no, can no. go get you're, pregnant then he can go get another bitch pregnant yeah. well your so man that... can actually walk away from the bitch that he got pregnant yeah but, that's and like, me that too mean. now me and the but, bitch sitting here she round i'm so sitting no, here flat I mean, like hey just, listen uh, if you're hey, pregnant girl. we'll walk away man uh, well, that's, that's, <laughs> but you were just saying yeah. earlier, like child support, girls have child problems support, because of man. absent yeah, fathers, and now you're just saying like uh, we, we should just walk away. <laughs> like that's what we should I do because no, I, we okay, want to have sex joking, with other joking, girls. I just I'm just confused because it's like if we're on the same page, <clears throat> like if I'm telling you, like you're over here worried that if you tell me it's gonna hurt me, that I'm gonna up and leave. But imagine you well, just. You were. Imagine you just kept it a buck fifty with me. Listen, she gonna leave. Okay, but <laughs> this is her, and I'm me. And I just said me, not her. If you tell me I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, Acklin, because the same way that he told me I'm an exception. Yeah, you're only dating me right now. We're addressing me, you know. Here's the problem. Just because you can handle it, she can't handle it. She can't handle it. She can't handle it. So guess what? It's probability. What are my odds exactly. better? Better for telling you what you want to hear. Or telling the truth. I guess it's contingent on who you're dating because at the end of the day, you know your partner. You know whether or not they want to hear the truth or not. No. Like I'm not you know your parents, right? You know it's what they're gonna do. So it why, is. why am I take a risk? But this is the thing. 
why are there casinos if people don't like taking risk? Why are you even date if you don't want to take the risk? Every day you step out is a risk. So life is meant to be held. Life is meant to be lived. If I want to take the risk and date you and I say, hey, you coming up to me, that's a risk you see. You don't know how I'm going to react. Can you imagine, right? I spent all my life going to school, working on myself. I finally found one girl that's actually good, uh-huh. that is amazing. And to tell the truth, the loser, what's the but point? But you don't know if you're going to lose her because you didn't even statistically know you met the one girl that was going to be amazing to you. Bro, it is a gamble. Most girls can't handle that truth. Again, and but you're will... not dating most okay, girls. Okay, I have a question. Okay. It's good. Like, Go ahead. So what I was huh? going to say is, I think what they're trying to say is that if you have a man that has a lot of options and you want him, there's other girls... There's other girls that's also going to want him. Mm. So what they're saying is that if you have a, a high earner and a guy that's very successful, you either have the option of sharing him with other women or you can settle with a regular guy who doesn't have those options because a man at the end of the day is only going to be as loyal as his options are. There's no changing a man. It doesn't matter sure. how much he loves you or whatever. A man is going to be a man at the and, end of the day. Exactly. And I okay. don't want that man to change because I'm not asking you to change, Papa. I'm just saying to you, listen, if you come into me and you tell me, hey, you're the breadwinner. I want to mess with other girls. And I'm still looking at you like, all right, well, I want to keep you too. Is gotcha, it cool bitch. if I do that too? Why are you looking at me, big eyed? You just said the same thing to me. It's like, like if I play a reverse Uno Let me ask you a few questions. Are men and women the same? I'm not asking you the same. Well, no, 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 please to... just answer the question. No, are we biologically the same? Vagina, okay, are no. we attracted to different things in the opposite gender? Yes. Okay, would it be fair to say that promiscuity in women is a huge turnoff to men? No. It is. In I mean, reality, I it is. She just made a valid point earlier. The what women that live the lifestyle that we want to obtain have the most promiscuous. Okay, remember what I just said earlier. There's relationship but attraction and sexual but you attraction asked me when about it comes promiscuity, not whether or not it was sexual relationship. In that case, I'm asking promiscuity for what it is and whether I retain you or keep you. A hit is a hit. And she just made a point earlier that you agreed with. She said the women that we see in those lifestyles who are out here shaking ass, getting whatever getting it is, smashed. Getting, getting smashed, collect. getting flown out, but they're this getting is fucked. Again, yeah. Well, that is promiscuity. The yes. issue is not, but that at the end of the day, they're Bye. getting fucked and they're attractive, yeah. whether it be sexually or for romantic. A- attractive comes with that first adjective prior. Yeah, it's but they're not going to get commitment, is and what I'm trying to tell you. And then they're 46, 46 on, crying. On, like, yo, okay. Okay. Again, you, you're, you're making the cardinal <laughs> mistake, which I literally just warned you about. Okay. You're conflating relationship attraction well, with I guess sexual attraction. It. Just because a girl is sexy and looks good does uh-huh. not necessarily mean she's going to be able to lock down a man. The thing is this, when it comes to a man taking a woman seriously and giving her a last name or some kind of commitment, her sexual past matters. Is that what we're talking about? That's that's what we're talking about because what you're saying is you're making an argument for I should be able to be open on my end too. And what I'm arguing is that if that man has the status and the ability to get other girls, he will not tolerate and or or accept you going out and fucking other guys. You have effectively made yourself single and that is very stupid and I'll tell you why. He can replace you faster than you can replace him. Any girl can go to a club right now and go nah, and get a dude. Nah. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy can be extremely attractive, go to a club, go nah, and he's going to get arrested. Men and women are not the same. Men have to work to get their sexual abundance. Women don't. So if you go out there and you exercise that sexual abundance with a man that also has sexual abundance, guess what's going to happen? He's going to throw you to the streets and he will no longer take you seriously. So Keep when girls say the that they're open, I always laugh because you're effectively making yourself less attractive to that man. A man that has sex with a lot of women and has options is not the same as a woman who has sex with a lot of men and has options. Women are respected for being uh, exercising temperance and discipline and restraint when it comes to sexuality. I guess I just want to know whether or not I'm here to attract a partner or keep one. Because at the end of the day, I was asking whether or not I want to attract you. I, I'm not. Well, we're here. talking about a relationship but, here. Remember, uh, he was talking. He tells he you, "I want to be open," and then your response is, "Well, I want to be open too." He's gonna say mo- most men, especially if they have options, is like, "You're my girl. You can't be open." But. Imagine being condemned for wanting the same thing as your partner. <laughs> like, that's really the point well, I'm trying to make. we're not the same people. But, but, okay, so this is my thing, yeah? Okay. I'm not asking you to be the same. I'm just saying we want the same things. I'm not asking you to be me. I'm just no, saying if we both want But you want only things, want it because I want it. That's Do weird. I want it because you want it? Or I'm just saying, hey, no, okay. No, no, thank you. I didn't I know I had the it choice. You said, okay, cool. I want to do it too. Yeah. Why? But this is the thing. I didn't know I had that you, option. Hold on. You want to be a hoe? I just want to know if I have no, the no. option. Do you want to be a hoe? I want the options that you but have. Why do you have to you, use no, the no, word no. hoe? Do you want also, to be a hoe? What's a hoe? Yeah, what's a, now we're about to break now that down. I'm confused. Did you call your mom a Question. hoe? Yes or no? Oh, Jeez. Uh, hey, 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 listen. Mo- his take mom your feelings out of it. A woman that, that's in a relationship with a man that has sex with other men is effectively a hoe. But just, what if she doesn't want to sleep with others? She just wants maybe like attention from other men or like love and that's whole activity to... so anyway like i was saying <laughs> but... so, like, oh, l- l- listen ladies ladies i don't know if you guys noticed this but you guys are simply trying to make an argument to do what we do be simply because we're doing it I... you don't necessarily want to do it exactly and, mo- and most women okay. don't want to sit there and have sex with multiple guys you're just trying to be like man which you can do 
But I promise you, it's going to end very badly for you anytime you act like a guy. You want to go ahead and be in charge and make money and be successful? Fuck a bunch of dudes and jack like a man? Fantastic. Go dudes are not going to take you seriously. At the end of the day, I just want to have yeah. the same options that my partner has. So if I if he tells me, but hey, why though? You never will. Well, this is a thing. I'm asking you because now that you put it onto the table and agenda, it's not an option and a choice. If I put a menu in front of us both and you say I want chicken and it's a side of chicken, I'm going to be like, oh, I didn't even look at that side yet because you just mentioned it, which so I'm not negating. You want the to be fact, equal, right? I'm not negating the fact that I want it now because you mentioned it on the table. I never negated that. But where my issue lies is that why is it an issue that I want what you want? And is it simply because biologically we're not the same that now I shouldn't want to sleep with other men because I'm with you? Should I now only want to be chast because I'm with you but and we're not woman, the same? A woman's value goes down the more men she sleeps Honestly, with. Honestly, a woman's value is determined <laughs> by whatever comes out of her mouth. Because if I tell you, this, listen, you this said you're agree. not in New York, right? You said you're not from New York, right? No. Right. So I'm not from Florida. Would I come here and tell you I'm not from here. Now they can fact check me on the screen. Social my background. media. Exactly. They gonna but, figure it out. Exactly, but this is a thing. This is a thing. Let's say social media wise, I only got 200 followers. Somebody going to find out. You know, but this is a thing. Statistically, you know it, it winds right. down. I can only go by what you're saying. Exactly. However, your actions don't. What actions? Uh, There's certain traits so, that you can always yourself. come and exhibit that you're going to know who yeah. you really are. So oh you, can, you can say whatever from your mouth. I'm going to watch what we actually do. So can I ask where the line draws between a promiscuous woman for what she is and what red flags there may be and insecurities in men, assuming that that's what I am? Because like, let's say I'm now called a promiscuous woman because I went like this. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, she touched him. She's a whore. You know what I mean? It's, it's well, not about that. I mean, you're, you're, you're reaching a bit on that one. I just wonder where the line draws. Let's, let's keep this very nice and concise. Uh -huh. You arguing for the same benefits that men enjoy is going to hurt you. There's double standards in life. I would argue there's more double standards that benefit women than men. Women get into cluster free. Women get attention from men just for existing. They're invited to certain parties and social situations that men would never be able to be a part of just off of the looks of them being a woman. So what, there's certain benefits, the things that benefit women in life, and there's certain things that benefit men. The only real benefit and double standard that men enjoy that women don't is that men are not admonished for promiscuity versus women are. And there's a big biological reason for it. Men cannot ensure paternity when a girl is a whore. There's a reason why religions from the beginning of time and societies from the beginning of time have always had issues with female promiscuity. It's never been respected in the world, not until today. And what I'm arguing is that the reason why it isn't respected is because it's easy. Things that are easy to come by are no law not respected. So you can say, I want to be open too. That's fantastic. But you're never going to be able to be like a man, just like I'm never going to be able to be like a woman. I'm going to get invited to a club just off of how I look. I have to get some status, make some money, become a somebody before a club will even allow me to get in without paying Fresh. for it. You know, and I accept this reality. But women don't want to accept reality. They want to act like men when it benefits them. And my thing is you can act like a man, but you got to deal with the consequences from, from that. If you act like a man and you be promiscuous and you fuck guys and you want to be open in your relationship, be prepared for men to not take you seriously. That's all. So you're saying like that a dream woman would let you sleep with other girls like that's, the that's the dream for you that's, guys like to like okay yeah you can go fuck others and like because i i know guys who would be like oh wait why would she allow me to do that like she doesn't love me now she doesn't like me now no guys don't like, think that that's 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 yeah can that's, women expect more from guys here's then? the thing ladies um a woman every girl has a number every girl has a certain status etc every girl will break rules for a certain type of guy there's gonna be a guy out there for each and every one of you that will make you say okay you know what I'll share this fucking guy. It is what it is. There's a guy out there that will make you do that. Now, do women prefer monogamy? For sure. Of course. But the thing that sucks about that is you ain't going to get monogamy from a winner. You're just not. In I'm La just telling you guys how to La operate La in reality. La Land, monogamy exists, and I live in La La Land. So. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. See, only women get the I privilege of living right in La La Land. In Men my, can't live in La La Land. In my world that I live in currently, where my rent is paid, um, <laughs> there's monogamy. It's really nice. I invite all of you to come I want to live it. with you. It's great. <laughs> if, if, let's say, we, I get into a relationship and I allow my man to do this, can I then... Ask for more? Ask for more. Yes. And, and like, because... A lot of girls like get bashed for it nowadays of being like, um, you can't expect so much from men and like you're a modern day woman, you should be doing um what modern day women are expected to do nowadays and like I'm all for it, like create your own career and build yourself up at the same time as building your partner up. But if I'm gonna allow you to do this and I can't do it, can I be like, I want this much money every month. I want to live here. I want, can I have other decisions in my life and our life because I'm allowing you to do well, this? Well, you need to secure that commitment before you start making demands. 
the problem is that a lot of girls start making demands without securing the commitment. So you got to get the commitment, get the guy to love you. And then at some point, he's probably going to provide it for you anyway, if he actually likes you and loves you, you know? Yeah. And we're just saying as well, like, obviously don't do it with a bum that can't give you that lifestyle. <laughs> we're saying a man of value that actually has means. Cool. If he has these requirements and you want to be with him, cool. You can ask for whatever you want because he's giving you that lifestyle. We're just giving you guys the consequences of dealing with a guy like that. There's pros and cons in everything in life. Yeah. It's just that women really have an issue with cons. There's, you know, a, 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 like here's a con, right? If you're going to date a bad bitch, I'll give you guys a female perspective. If you're going to date a bad chick that's on Instagram and everybody wants her, oh, well, that's not, that's not a girl that you want to wipe up because there's going to come with a lot of inherent problems that are not good to the relationship. She's going to want to be out and about. She's going to want to put, put pictures of her ass all over the internet. She's going to, she's typically going to be an attention whore. She's going to want attention from men. These are not things that you want from your wife, you know? So there's pros and cons to both. And we tell guys don't wipe up girls like that because it's going to come with problems a lot of the times. So same thing with the men. You want a winner? You got to deal with the winner problems. What if as a woman, mm -hmm. you start dating someone that like is fine financially, is not great, not yeah. where you want them to be in life and not where they want to be in life either. Uh -huh. Build and you date for a few years and you both build up together. And then he comes to you and you say, listen, I've got all this money. I'm able to do this lifestyle now of being open and being able to, I'm a lot more um, attractive to women because my money can make me attractive and I'm able to do this now. And like, I want to do this. Should you as a woman then be like, yeah, fine. But I feel like, but no, because I've helped you get to the stage. You know, I've, I've supported you in your career. I've been there through your sides when you've gone through the shits and when you haven't. So how you feel and what's real? Share? Here's the thing. How you feel and what's real are two different things. You might not, not like help. how it makes you feel, but the real is that now he's in a position where he can do it. And okay, I get what you're saying. I helped him build up. This isn't fair. Well, life isn't fair. It's not fair that you can go on your Instagram right now and potentially get some guy to fly you out to Dubai or fly you out to some other area. I'm sure you have a bunch of offers. The thing is, is that, you know, women don't like it when guys have leverage in relationships. And I would argue it's in your betterment as a woman to be in a relationship where the guy has leverage against you. And then that says, whoa, whoa, I'm losing power here. Well, that's how you know you're with a winner. But then Girls we want to have the power ship and power in a relationship. We... Go ahead. We so, kind of yeah, have sure. to, uh, what you're saying is like, we kind of have to choose because like either we live with that leverage is like, oh, flying us out here and there. But then we are not wifey material, right? Because then, no, that's yeah, what I you mean, were saying. Yeah, your that's actions you have consequences. Saying. Yeah. Yeah. So then we either just like settle for someone and share him and not do anything like nasty or then we like use guys like for their money. you have to secure then, your commitment first. You secure your commitment. Yeah, and well, then what's you securing? Ask like, like okay, commitment. he's going to marry me. He can, he's still going to fuck others. Like, is it secure? I would like, rather no. have my boyfriend fuck others than my husband. This is a fact. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. I don't want to ring on this yeah. finger and then knowing he's fucking others. This is I, want, I would rather have my boyfriend. I mean, just get a more average guy that's less likely to cheat on you. I mean, guys yeah. are going to, men are as faithful as their options. So get a guy that's not going to have as many options. I think honestly, but though, women don't want those guys. Let's be that, real that's here. True, that's every guy that's not with, true. Like a famous, successful guy has gotten cheated on. Even Beyonce Facts. got cheated on. And Beyonce. And she, Facts. I'm, I'm like, like, Beyonce. Yeah, none of y'all in here ain't Beyonce. So oh, I'm like, oh, no. shit. Shakira, oh, too. Oh, I want to say hello to Shakira. I like some guys. Go ahead. She was saying something. Go ahead. Do you have anything else? I'm just saying that. If I feel like if most women don't want to have to even worry about sharing their man, then they're probably going to have to get somebody that's more on the regular side that doesn't have those options. I'm going to be honest too. with you. A regular My dude ex. can cheat just as much as a regular exactly. female. That but is this true. Yeah. With, uh, but he's got less, cheat more. He's got less I options. I don't know. Whoever got more options, though. What more options? I don't know. The guy with money. Man with money. For the most part. I guess. But at the end I'll of the day. I'll say viable options. Yeah. Women always have more options in general, but most of them are trash. That's true. Damn. But this is my this is my thing, yeah. I, I do agree with you entirely. But honestly, with social media and the way things have kicked off right now, I tell you don't even gotta be in the United States. You can go to Thailand, you can go wherever and go get a shorty who doesn't even know the standard, but you being an American alone. A lot of guys are doing that. Yeah. A lot yeah. women too. Ninety day fiance is my <laughs> like, I see women on the show too flying out. I mean I, 
I'm African, born and proud. Bringing, bringing foreign men? Yes. Yeah. It's like a show, On 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally saying but it. It's yes. a show, though. Yeah, it's a TV show. I mean, it's That's a show. not the norm. Women ain't, ain't traveling to, to Thailand to find a man, but a lot of dudes are traveling to Thailand to and find a the woman. And that do is a small minority. So yeah. there, there are some, but it's very small. I'm Bro, no bad chick is going to fly in some nigga from Zimbabwe to, to be her husband. And usually, like, they're they sorry to say, out of shape, not going to look in her fat. Honestly, <laughs> I knew something was wrong with that. That's why they're going, they're going outside the country. Listen, because, and most of those women are about between like 40 to 60 years old. That's oh, like they're older. Oh, okay. So they don't have options, <laughs> right? They're yeah. not at their peak. That's My why any girl that's 21 in her peak, she don't got to do none of that bullshit, bro. <laughs> Go on Instagram, respond to DM, like here, blue chat here. Cool. Done. The thing I'm trying to say is that whether you're in your peak or not, you know, at the end of the I day, don't. your options are what's available to you. And if I have the finances, I mean, she's traveling to everywhere next week. If I have the finance, no offense to you, you have a rapper, you got a security, you know, on lock, <laughs> reality or not, on lock. But like, if she wanted to, she's got the finances, she got the bread. If she's bored, swipe on Tinder, swipe on Supermatch, get something for the night. You know what I mean? But a lot of girls don't want that. Do yeah. you want that if that's an option to you? No. She just saying that on the air. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. Sorry, I'll back you that. up. I'll back you up. No, like this uh, being successful, social media, all that. If I go and do that, guess what they're going to do, right? I'm going to end up on TikTok for being a whore, like immediately. Like I will. Like I'm not going to. You don't I think, won't deny the you don't think that's guys that dealt with, with me before I started making money don't pop up right now? I'm not gonna, <laughs> oh, the consequences are definitely going to be present, but whether or not that option is viable to the I'm not willing to take those consequences. Hey, man, some, some people really don't give a fuck because I got the bread. I can do whatever the hell I want. You know yeah. what I mean? No, and that's cool. That's cool. I, 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 listen, this is not the let's shame women for being promiscuous podcast. This is the if you're going to be promiscuous, be prepared to be shamed by society podcast. That's us giving you the reality of how the world works. And we're telling you what men think. The thing is this. Men can't be honest about what they really like and what they don't like in women because it's considered misogynistic and fucked up. If I say I don't want a hoe, I don't want a fat chick, I don't want a woman that's rude or crass, I might get canceled for saying that. Men can't say these things. However, women can say I don't want I want a six figure nigga, no broke motherfucker, all this stuff, no scrub. But the things that women want are never admonished, but the things that men want are. So what I'm saying is that men can't be honest about yo, I don't want a chick that's a that's a hoe. Do you consider yeah. social media that? So if consider it your works. girlfriend is maybe doesn't even have to have a big following, uh -huh. but just post, not promiscuous, but post a, a, a sexy pose photo of her at the beach in yeah. a bikini or yeah. her looking really nice in a tight dress, but they, they pose so they can look like they... Um, are single? Influencers. That's my point. You post like that to get suitors though. I was posting like that when I wanted a man. I don't post like that. I have a man. I was post. I was posting oh, like someone like, giving a game. <laughs> I'm just no, saying. Go on, like, no, no, no. Keep going. I keep truthfully going. was. You could definitely. People did not. People don't know now what my body looks like because I've hit it for ten damn near a year. But before that, oh no, you knew I had a fat ass. So <laughs> do you not think it's more for like affirmation from your no, following? No, I, I wanted so a man like to be your me friends... hard eyes, and I wanted to decide. Okay, is this but the I'm one saying I'm going to pick? Not just you. So, like, if your friends comment on it or, like, you t you hashtag something, you tag something and, like... Some, I have your answer right now. Some random w Women page. do the things that they do. Makeup, dressing up sexy, wearing heels that are not comfortable, dresses that aren't comfortable, all this other stuff, going through surgery. Women put themselves in extremely uncomfortable positions for the hope of finding a man that could put them in a comfortable position. What do I mean by this? They're trying to find the best guy that they can get, and women understand that they're not going to go out there and talk to men. The man has to come to them. Well, how are you going to get a guy to come and look at you? Well, you have to put the for sale sign on your neck. How do women do this? They do this by peacocking from a female sense, putting up sexy pictures of themselves, dressing a certain way, whatever. And my argument is what social media has done is it's actually hurt women long term because now women have more options than ever before. They think that their value is higher than it really is. They think that they're perfect. No man can do it. You know, every guy should accept them. And it hurts them in the long run because what they're getting is sexual attention. But the problem is that they think these guys all want to commit to me. I just want to know, like, when you're I in a relationship, all, yeah, do you stop ahead. getting to feel sexy and yell? Like, I, I have a boyfriend. I, that guy's my dude, right? But I you get sexy under the authority of your man. That's yeah. how you do it after you're in a relationship. And you don't you know what I'm wearing. You know, you know and, and you know what's funny? Bro? <laughs> you can talk about posting on social media, right? Like Instagram, Snapchat, right. whatever. But guess what? If it's for your friends, put it in a group chat. Yeah. Why put it on social media? It's because you want fact. attention from other guys. I'll, I'll come no, like, I'll come I think like I don't think it's only guys. Like when you said like, oh, we put makeup on for guys. Like if I walk down the street and someone like 
yells like it was this was in LA a woman yelled out like a girl like oh I love your shorts and I'm like oh my god thank you but if it was a guy I would have been like fuck off creep exactly. you know like yeah. I like when women compliment me more because yeah. that's honest I okay. so, so, I so you're gonna sit here and tell me that you get dressed for you I'm not even not gonna, only, but, uh, oh, only mm. for me too because I like feeling good like I like Stop feeling sexy but <laughs> But, but also, thing, like, yeah. I like when women compliment me. But like, there's a know. difference between feeling sexy and like you're just flat out like I'm not putting even too much. Out I'm not there. even talking about like, oh, no, I don't, I don't, awesome I don't, I don't, to, like, gonna check my Instagram. Even, I don't have pictures like, like that at the end of all. Day, I'm not even talking about feeling like I. When you post on Instagram, ladies, is it because you're trying to get a dude? I, yeah, no, I was. For me, what do you mean? For me, it's you, more like I need that. Yeah. I need Twilight that clarification lies. from my friends. Shut up. And from the people that follow me, even if it's like. I would say most of my following is mainly girls. When you look I went to an old girls' school. I, 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 a lot of my life is surrounded by women. Um, and it's just that confirmation from people who I think are beautiful being like, you're beautiful. But we have group texts for that. But not exactly. we all, but you don't Do you have a group chat with um, everyone yeah, that like, follows you I have a group, I have a group chat. And day, if I take, like, my bikini pictures, I send that in my group chat. I send I that to my man. So I don't like, want that all my followers to see my a friend ass, though. That you think stunning and you, like, admire to look like her. And she comments on your photo. You can't tell but me I that don't doesn't have feel to, good. I don't have to do that in bikini. With you. I wasn't even but posting I bikini pictures single. I don't single. post bikini pictures. I'm saying single either. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm just... yeah, any photo is fine. But I'm not going to post like a back shot of me bent over on a yacht. Oh, that's like, like, no, that, that's <laughs> different. But I'm saying like if, if I post a photo in like a tight dress from a night out. Just a me, tight dress no, that's like this big? No. Like yeah. just looking fine, that's not fine, but crazy. Why would you post a tight dress that's two inches long for your homegirl? Uh, okay. Like, are you gay? You, you know what? Let me see this. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm gonna put you on the blast real quick. Can I see? Can, can we get her Instagram or yes, something? Like, I want to see the. I want to see the photos that she currently has up as a like as you, in a relationship. I, I think the point, is, the argument here is it is is more along the lines of that women will say that they get dressed and put makeup and put themselves in uncomfortable positions for themselves, but the reality is they do it for the validation of men. The key is that. They're doing that. They have, they understand well, that there's going to be a bunch of them. losers coming at them with the validation. They just want the right guy to validate them and then deal with him. So what happens when that girl is in a relationship? Does that mean that she's attention? Insane? Women so, love attention. So that is your guys' does, does she have to delete those posts? No, no. Does she have to? you're asking me so i'm saying if you get in a relationship with a woman, yeah, and she had posted those photos two months prior. Yep. You know, or whatever amount of time prior when she wasn't in a relationship. Yeah. Are you now telling her and like being turned off and almost getting the ick from her having those photos up? He didn't have to tell I mean, me. How I would you feel if you him. how would you feel if you bought a brand new car and the dealer told you that you had to keep the for sale sign up? My thing is that Hold on, let, so you let, so you would you be happy with her keeping those photos up as long as she I just answered made you, would it, you be happy no, with the for on. sale sign up? As and, long and as she would you made, be okay with the for sale sign up? Can I can I make my, okay? No, you would not. <laughs> However, she she posted you on your on her social media as well. She made it. She didn't like. She's not posting those photos now, but she's making it public that she's dating someone that she's dating you, and she she's not posting those photos that you like. She like her bikini photos, like her bending over, shaking her ass on the yacht. Like she's not posting that now because she's in a relationship and she she doesn't. Like like you said, it's mainly for the validation from men. However, girl, where is your respect for your thing. relationship with that on your Instagram? But I'm saying, but why why do I have to delete it? it? But I, I'm different. not. I what wasn't if, in a relationship then. Your but, man's. But I have it respect for. I respect my Wait. man as a man. Why would I want his homeboys are clicking on my Instagram, scrolling you down, and they're yeah, gonna I want his homeboys to be like, she's hot. He's got someone good looking. Like I, that's you want you want to be with someone that's good looking. You want someone to like. I see her perspective. What she's trying to say. Friends to be like, you're gonna go. She's hot. You know, like she. I'm not gonna try with her because she'll probably like curve me. Yeah, but most guys, most guys want their girl to be hot under their authority. That's some more game for y'all, ladies. They want you to be hot under their authority. In other words, if we're going out together then that's okay. But if you're going out with your homegirls dressed like that or you have it up on your Instagram or whatever, a lot of guys are going to have an issue with it. Now, every man is different. Every guy has different tolerance levels for the thottery that their girl wants to put on Instagram. Some guys are okay with the, some types of pictures. Some guys are okay and don't want you to have an Instagram altogether. So it depends on the man. It's a, upon the woman to see what her man's boundaries are and adapt accordingly, most importantly, without him telling you. If you know you have pictures there that are racy, that make you look a certain way or whatever, it'd be incumbent upon you as a woman to use common sense and understand, hmm, 
Yeah, let me get rid of this shit because this is some 304 shit right now. So, should we do that without consulting him first? Yes. Like, yes. should I take it down without even being like, listen, yes. Like, yes. do you I want just, me to take these down? What he happens, doesn't need to tell you. You should know. What happens but when why do I have to read his mind? <laughs> okay. like, it's I'm not, I'm not his mother. Hold on, hold on. I'm not yeah. in let me ask you a question. Let me ask her a question. Moment 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 when you go out with a guy, do you want him to walk up to you and be like, and it's a guy that's attractive too. Like he's a, he's a Am chat. I out by myself? I'm no, out no, 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 no. You're out with him. You okay. guys went on a date, etc. You're really feeling him. He looks good. You guys match on Tinder, whatever the hell. Do you want him to sit there and be like, um, uh, um, is it okay if I uh, kiss you? Um, do you want to go to this place here for dinner? Yeah. See, hold on. You want the guy to just get it, right? No, I don't Please want him to. Be, I want him to be confident in himself. Fantastic. If I have to be confident in myself. I want him to be confident okay. in himself so, as well. Okay. So, so if he's supposed to just get it, be able to be a leader, be dominant, plan a good date, not be weird, and you know, be sure of himself. You as a woman should also take some initiative and understand. Hmm, this doesn't make the, make me the most attractive. I should probably get rid of this stuff without him having to tell you. Just like you don't, you shouldn't have to tell a guy I'm when not he kisses you. Him to tell me. Yeah, but, but, but I'm saying like, dating if I started just a just conversation just... about it. Would that be the worst thing? You know, if I went up it to would him be and the be worst like, thing, but it would be more attractive if you just fit into it. Just I, like it would be weird for me to ask you if I can kiss you. I might still get the kiss, but it wasn't as uh, attractive as if I, I had just pulled the I trigger. It's upon you as a woman that's, to kind of just figure it that's out. That's like asking, for example, you go to a club every weekend, right? You get a boyfriend and you, you, you still go, but you say, hey, babe, what do you think I should do? It's I, like, obviously, speaking, if you're, if you're single, go to a club. But if you're with a man, why why are you going to the club? So I have a genuine question, and this is just for you, because your dude's a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. Very successful wherever oh his music, God. right? Mm -hmm. Those shorties he got in his music video, you just be on set like, hey. If you watch the video, you'll actually notice like he was really uncomfortable. That's the funny I part. Don't. But I personally don't care because that's because you know him. But that's uh, art. Did you and read his mind? I'm not even trying to be a bitch. I just want to know if you is. No, I, <laughs> I know him. But like, I will say, I will say, you're funny. Um, let me live in my delusion. I will say that that is what's, you know, paying our bills and providing the life that we live. Did not say it earlier. So, if I got a nigga paying the bills. I, you, you know, I live a very... Yeah, we said that. We said I that. Like, I, just I like no one the lifestyle on this side, that I, I am provided and I like, I like everything that in my relationship. So, I mean, if that's what's paying for our life and our home so you know it's an art you, you see know? that's what i'm saying so that's what so really what it comes down to is hey man if you're paying for me taking care of me all that bullshit i said about feminism out the door that's what it is <laughs> out the door you know that's what, I mean? what we're so, saying girl supporting girls i don't know her like okay you know, but because i'm just confused because i'm just saying like you're telling me you well, know feminism him. is a lie we talk about this all the time oh, feminism I, is I, a lie i didn't say that ladies hold on, hold on. But, I didn't say that. no we're saying we're saying feminism is a lie but continue sorry I, I the thing is that i'm trying to say is what i'm noticing from you and and ladies over here, please speak your mind, speak your truth, right? Yeah. They're quiet up. the whole time. <laughs> no, 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 but <laughs> smart my wise. My thoughts are in my head right now. No, but smart wise, because you got to you gotta maintain the image. I get it, ladies. Say something for me. You know, I get it, I get it. But my thing is that what you're basically telling us, right, is the only reason why you're turning a blind eye is because you're getting all your shit paid for. First one, yes. once again. Oh. <laughs> no. Yes or no? No, yeah. he doesn't pay for everything. I, no, I know you have your own money. He's taking care of you. I get it. But you just said your rent's paid. Your things are handled. Yep. You have the ability to do everything you're saying, but since that dude's stepping up to the plate and doing it, everything is. I have the commitment I want, and I am not aware or know of any cheating. There's no cheating to my knowledge. <laughs> I don't. I don't see anybody yep. cheating. Hey, girl, I'm not gonna hold you. Let if her I, live. I, let her live. Her she bird box <laughs> right now. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> bird box. To, 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 to my knowledge, <laughs> he is 100 percent faithful. Nobody has ever she, come she, forward. She fucking <laughs> catch you from Mortal Kombat, bro. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I support you because I hear what you're saying. Ignorance is bliss. But I just want you to be accountable here in that. The only reason you're turning a blind eye is because you are cared for. Your needs are met. You had the commitment you looked for, and the dude had a check. If that wasn't there, you but would not I be sitting But I make more than him. Again, <laughs> you're dating down, but you got what you needed, right? But and then the I same have, way. I have, I have, a, is I have a baseline. His status. status is higher than mine. And I just do feel like I'm, I'm not building anybody below 100K, but you know, that 250, 350, we can get that up to an M. That's that's cakewalk. That's just a matter of scaling, in my opinion. And I'm not resentful or come cutting back on the respect I have for him as a man. I allow him to do the things. If he says, no, we're not doing this this month, I just have to take it to the chin because he he has to work. But I, to my knowledge and the life that I live and what I see and going through phones and being a psychopath, there's no cheating. Wait, wait, wait what? Girl, <laughs> no you, cheating. 
you, that man, you just told us yourself, listen, at the end of the day, a rich man <laughs> is going to do what a broke I'm, man can. I'm getting married. <laughs> you know I, mean? I wanted to the comment on like, what you just said about clubbing. Like, if you're in a oh, relationship, like, go. why you go out? Like, no, I'm just like, we, we go job. out. No, but the thing is, like, I go out with my friends and don't even want to be approached by men. Like, we don't even accept free drinks. Like, oh, can I buy do you a drink? No, house. please don't. Like, can I cap. follow you on Instagram? No. Cap. Like, we, it's not calf. We but go what are to you going out for? Because we want to go have, da- have a dance so, and have fun. Let's say, right? You go to club, be trapped in the you dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want to sit at home. Let's say you go maybe four times a month. Oh. About four times, right? You might be approached maybe so like once ten, a weekend. Time, 10 times. No, I don't. Once a weekend. Four times a month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's say you get approached by like 10 guys, right? Yeah. You tell nine of them no. You tell one yes, right? Mm. You do that four times. That's four guys. Mm. So regardless of the fact, you're being approached. But no. You, you don't you, you don't send out every every guy. Let, let's be real here. Yes, we do. Every single guy? I be yeah, I mean, so really? how if I have a dude, dating. you said like, well, if you go out Listen, and you have someone, like why you go out if you have someone? If I'm in a relationship and I go clubbing with my friends, I say no to everyone. Let's also be clear too. The dudes that got it like that, they don't approach because they got it like Yo. that. It comes to you. That was like a big you time. guys, no matter how anyone feels about you online, like the, if a shorty sees you, they know your status, they're going to approach you. How often do you find yourself approaching women? Well, I have to approach a lot. I mean, the I'm thing shocked. is, <laughs> like, ladies, <laughs> y- y'all think it's, you, you guys got to understand <laughs> that just because a man is attractive doesn't mean he's going to still score. Like, Damn. even for us, we still get turned down by girls play a lot of games, man. Like a girl will sit there, like you, message you first, DM you first, initiate the conversation, and still play games. Women do that all the time. Mm. So, um, I mean, one in three men right now is a virgin and hasn't had sex in a year. I know you guys are like what the fuck, but that's the truth. A lot of guys struggle, yeah, and a minority of men are out here fucking a majority of the girls. So, with us, you know, if a guy closes ten percent of the girls he talks to, he's a god. That means I talk to ten girls and I get one. I'm world class. Mm. You know, it's not like you where, you know, a woman will talk to 10 guys and nine of them are coming back with her or 11 of them are coming back with her. Mm. So um, for us, we still get rejected too. Like the, the average man is nearly invisible to women. And then a guy that has some status gets an opportunity. Now, may I ask you too, because yeah. now that you're in the position of status and having that money and financial suit, what do you think is your reason for being rejected? Girls reject for anything. But what's a reason that you can give? There, there's a multitude of reasons. It can be girls will reject like you for your, your shoes. I don't like your podcast. <laughs> um, it would be I think you're a misogynist, even because the things you say, even though they might be true, or I don't like the way you say them. Like there, I, I get um, rejected for a multitude of reasons. And then if a girl doesn't know me, she might not like how direct I am. She might say you're kind of a jerk. I mean, girls reject for a multitude of reasons. I can't even think of all the things. But girls, I mean, fuck, man. Like sometimes a girl will reject you just she don't like your shoes. That's fair. Like like women, women, like I say it all the time, like with men and women, we're very different. Like men, when they meet a girl, they look for a reason to qualify her. Women, when they meet a guy, they look for a reason to disqualify him. Yeah. Mm. Chris had a point here? Yeah. So Miss Hungry, uh <laughs> I have a question. So you said that, you know, when you go to clubs, men don't pay for your share, right? So uh I your Instagram say they don't pay for my who share. pays for your flights though? Oh, Me. oh. oh. So, I pay myself. Uh, that's I can tell you all though. the flights. I'm I, and here. it's all traveling pictures. I don't have bikini uh, pictures. Oh, and I can tell you wait, all wait, the wait, flights wait. I paid for Who and all the money. taking these photos? I have a... Uh, in Paris. that photo in Paris, uh-huh. I have a... Oh, look oh, at Paris. my hand. Uh-huh. Zoom where, in. Where, where, where? I have a tripod and I'm taking it myself. Oh, a tripod. Okay. <laughs> I travel by myself. Oh, so <laughs> who's uh, paying for the flights? Me. Oh, you? Yes. You oh, economy or business class? Cali, uh, I'm, I'm taking oh, spirit, uh, uh, baby. Chicago. The cheapest shit. Oh. I just want to get there. Uh, oh, get there. Oh. To be fair, that she I'm, just kept uh, it a buck fifty. I ain't well, even mad. Hold on, hold on. You know how much I paid yes. for my airline? Yeah. 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 I thought it was a good girl. You ate okay, every from Europe, though. That's oh, a train yeah. ride from where I lived. It's hey, you right, no, no. That's a fifty dollar train ride from Basel. That's Switzerland. When you go by yourself and you get there, what do you do? I go to a hostel. I stay at hostels. Oh, That's hostel, like, hostel. Yeah, thirty dollars a night. What are you gonna do when you get a hostel? Me, me, hold on, hold on. I meet Let's other girls. On. Let's go on the rabbit hole, right? You go travel by yourself yeah. on spirit. Yeah. Economical. Go to a hostel. Yeah. People are there, right? Guys, I stay girls. In a, no, I stay in an all girls room always. I don't feel safe with men Bruv. in the room. Okay. I stay in an all girls room. I'll give you that. All go hostel. Okay. You leave the hostel, you go to the club, right? Party, party spots, no, food always. spots. It depends on where I'm going. Meet, I don't want to be hangover. I want to see the city. Cancun, maybe even, um, I don't know, uh, Jamaica, whatever, wherever you go, right? They're locals. They're attractive. They talk to you. They hit on you. You don't say yes to none of them? 
I'm not going out a lot when I'm traveling because, like, I go on a weekend trip bruh. and I want to see the city. I want to see the sights. I want to wake up early. I don't want to be hangover. And right. I don't wanna you want to go and have fun, right? No. I want to have bruh. fun, but not in the clubs. Bro. No, but I'm saying you're going to go. I'm living in Miami. I go out here. When I travel, there, I go. They want to show you the city, right? Some of them happen to be guys. No. So, no, uh, man, so let me give you guys when a man uh, looks at an Instagram like this. Um, <laughs> Why are we looking at my Instagram? Um, no, because I think this is very important for women to know because a lot of girls will sit there and be like, I don't travel. Actually, then... a photographer took that picture. Uh-huh. Wait, you said it was a tripod. Oh, tripod? <laughs> <laughs> not not all of them. I, I had an yeah, ex-boyfriend, too, who <laughs> cheated on me, obviously. Okay, lady, uh, uh, let me just please make my point here. Okay. This is a learning point for all the girls, okay? <laughs> now, you're saying here that you travel alone and you took these pictures by yourself, whatever. That's not cool. all of them, but okay. most of them, yes. Okay, so when, when, if my I'm a guy, I'm going to tell you what men think when they see pictures like this on a girl's Instagram. We, a we immediately daddy. think that she's a whore, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Even though I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying they're going to assume that, and the reason why they're going to assume that is because most of the time when girls are in foreign locations taking pictures like this or whatever, they have a sugar daddy, they have some dude paying for it, whatever, and that's just kind of how it is. So they're going to assume that when a woman has experiences, certain types of experiences, a lot of guys will be like, ah, she's a hoe, this isn't attractive. So girls think that being well traveled, etc., makes them attractive. A lot turns a lot of guys off. They'll just never. But admit it. I don't care if they don't ask. You know, like I don't care. I'm just so curious. Like, well, they're never gonna tell um, you. But I also like, never gonna just tell consider you. it. I I lived. I'm from Europe. Like I used to live in Switzerland for seven years. I worked there, studied there. Um, Paris is a twenty dollar train ride. Like you guys in America can't imagine how e cheap and easy it is to travel in Europe. To be See, here's the thing. We like, know I that because we just came from Europe. Yeah. But what okay. I'm saying is that well, a lot of people aren't well traveled like that a lot of guys might not know that so what they're gonna do okay is but i don't want to can i please finish guys. my point okay <laughs> put your feelings aside i'm just telling you what men think okay okay i know you're on the defense right now like oh no that doesn't mean cool you were able to explain yourself you travel alone whatever maybe what i'm telling you in general is that when you tell a guy that they're gonna get turned off they're gonna assume the worst that's all i'm saying so what is an example you might not do it but, but they're gonna they assume they do you do Okay. Well, that I accept that. They kind of think what the word they want, but you know, if they get to know me, they know that it's not true. And I just want to know what's an example. If they don't okay. know me, I don't care. Fair enough. Well, here's the thing, like, Man, human beings judge you a book by its cover all the time. If I came up to you and I was acting, <laughs> you're so hot, and everything else like that, you would reject me, wouldn't you? Because you're judging a book by its cover. I come off as strange and weird when you're within your right to decline me, which is cool. What I'm saying is that men also decline women. The difference is we do it silently. I you just, just won't know what we think. What's a safe okay. Instagram? What's a safe social media page that a man's going to be like? Oh. None. None. So then we just don't post. exist. Just <laughs> don't don't exist. You can't do shit to <laughs> win, ladies. So you might as well just say fuck social it. Social media. Is, uh, you know I, I, mean? like, I'm, I'm just saying, listen, man, <laughs> ladies, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you how men think and how they respond to certain things. You can do whatever you want with the information. You can let it trigger you. You can understand it, accept it and adapt. Or you can cry about it and get mad and say, this is fucked up. But my thing is, why is it that men have to understand women and accept it, but women refuse to accept and understand men? So you can I have whatever you want on your Instagram. I'm just telling you how men are going to respond to it. So if you put sexy pictures of yourself on the internet, if you're traveling all over the place, guys are going to assume automatically, yo, this girl's for the streets. And they will never tell you it. They'll no, never tell you I it. I've followed you, promise you maybe a future in, in the future. I'll give you nothing. So I, I don't deny anything you're saying. I just, I, I wonder where the gap is. What is it? Advise women. You have women here that are educated and strong. No yeah, one cares. But, but this thing is, what do, you, what do you, what do you want from, do you, you don't want women with a social media on, presence. You don't want women that you know are strong. You know what's scary though? Yeah. I thought you don't know that. It's, what scares me is that I don't know what can actually be maintained in terms of retention with you all, because whether I have individuality online, the fact that she likes to travel and pursue her dreams internationally, you right. also said that you have a degree in that, right? Yeah. So now it's like those things interconnect and she's being, you're a whore. No, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she was, no, it's not. They said no, no, that's how guys exactly. see it. And oh, I yeah. agree. I, mean, I had guys DMing yeah. me like, who is paying for your trip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's you. true. I agree. But it's, it's, but it's not true. Yeah, um, but... No one's paying for my trips but myself. Cool. But they, I do, uh, like, I can see that from the outside, it can look like. Right. Yeah, yeah, why is them women get mad when men judge a book by its cover? But if y'all judge us by our cover, my shoes don't no, fucking match, like, and you they reject can't me. Judge and I, but I think I those care. are also two different things too, because the woman that's traveling all over the place that you call a whore, we're not talking about that right now. We're not talking about the girl that shit on your shoes either. What I'm just like strongly asking you is, where is it that you can look at a social media presence and be like, that is a girl I would want to be in a relationship Doesn't with? Exist. So men judge everything. Well, yeah. yeah. In that I, case, I think this, like, wouldn't what? you be like? 
why doesn't she have social media in yeah. this modern no, age? Not at all. I'd be happy why? if she didn't have social media. Here's the thing. Women look at it like it's weird when a man doesn't have a social media profile. I women look at it no, like it's weird because would, women yeah, are highly, listen, ladies, just shut up and listen, man. Damn. All right. It's like a little feeling based. No, it's not about that. It's about keep interrupting and interjecting. I'm trying to make my point. If you want to accept it and understand it, you, cool. But if not, don't interrupt me. All right. It's very simple. Women respond favorably to status. So an Instagram is important for a man. Men don't care about status. So you having an inst Instagram is a moot point. So I'm not going to sit there and be like, hmm, she doesn't have an Instagram. Sun's off. That's weird. I'm like, oh, okay, that's even better. And I would argue the more status the man has, the less status he wants his girl to have. Because when a girl has a bunch of status, whatever, it comes with problems. I don't want a girl that's all over the place. Fuck that. That's embarrassing for me as a public figure. So it's the opposite. Men and women are opposite. Okay, now somebody has something? My question wasn't geared on whether or not. And then she has something to actually. So again, it's. Did you want to go first? Because she was waiting. You sure? I mean, I was just going to say, like, in my sense. No offense. You've been um, when you're chance. like family oriented or you have a, a man of high value, I think you could still have an Instagram, but just keep it private and keep it to like with your family and friends sure. and then know what you're posting and not boast. That's one way I to guess. do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I still feel like you can be yourself and have your own page. It's just. When you're in a committed relationship, it's just different versus right. being so, single. Right, go ahead. Thanks, because I just wanted an example of what does that look like. Yeah. I totally did not dismantle any idea of having social media. And to be honest, I prefer men that don't have social media because, oh, thank God, no bitch is going to DM me as a woman. You know what I mean? And on top of that, I, I mean, I work in nightlife. So if I have to post something because they're making me post a flyer of me, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> they're just telling me I have to for work. Stop the caps. I, I mean, you think I enjoy it? If they don't have social media, they probably have fake ones and they are the DMing the oh girls from God, that. Not the burner. <laughs> but so I, I, what I'm just confused is not, I think where we're missing the mark is that I'm not questioning whether or not you can have social media, I'm wondering as an example, and thank you. What's because, an example of a good page? Exactly, because I wanted to hear it from you both. But thank you too, because I was hoping they'd say the same thing. I, I do recognize that the smaller the page, the smaller, like for the girls that get hacked and stuff like that, now they're at 200 followers. You know, these men are probably gonna be like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. She's, she's low key. Oh my God. She's whole time. She already had 19K and got hacked at it. But also too, it's like, what does a page of social media reflect to you that's going to give you safety? And it seems like you guys were more well responsive to her saying like, it's family, it's close, it's private. It's not accessible to too many suitors. She's just here to express herself. She's got to take active steps to contain her sexuality. And the best way to do that is to have no Instagram. However, if she does have an Instagram, it's got to be tasteful. And my thing is the girl, if she cares about her man, should cons give him access to it. She should be like, hey, is this picture appropriate to post whatever? And I know some of you guys are like, oh my God, that's so controlling. It's not about controlling. It's about respect. You know what I mean? So that's that's what really what it comes down to. And I would argue most women don't respect men, so they think they can do whatever they want. And that's cool. You can do whatever you want. But remember that men are the ones that give out relationships. So if you want a relationship, it would behoove you to kind of know what men want. Why is that? If a man wants sex, he has to understand women. But if a woman wants a relationship, she can sit there and think, I don't have to understand men. All right. You know? What happened to this? Page. Blue dress? Oh yep. God, oh, yeah. This is it. <laughs> you want a, a, an example? Here you go. <laughs> no, followers, no followers. No. Did someone make followers. an Instagram just now to show no, this? No. Uh, that was me. <laughs> no. Remember, she's supposed to be following her man. Oh right. Do I have one following with zero followers? No, 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 like no, I decline no. everybody oh, you that tries to yes. follow me. Yes. You cannot follow me. My man right. is my only uh -huh. follower. Yeah. I mean, okay. she said it earlier. I'll say it again. We've had a bunch of multimillionaire successful guys that have status, etc. You got two multimillionaires here. We don't want girls with status that are all over the internet, bro. No guy wants a girl that's for the streets. Like, if dudes can look up your girl and she has 100K followers and she has pictures of her ass all over the place, like, that shit is not attractive, man. It really isn't. For a relationship. Like, for a relationship, which is the most important distinction, which is what women want. Yeah. If you want to just get fucked, fantastic. Do all that shit. Put, you know, put it on your page. You're going to get a bunch of offers. You're going to get a, a bunch of op sexual opportunities. But getting a relationship is going to be very, very difficult. Mm. All right, we got some chats here. That's so why porn stars well. struggle with, with getting and getting, keeping a man. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, 15 up, Chris, yep. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one came in from before? Yep. FMs are not...
Not yet. Oh. All right, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They got us now. We're back live. All right. Sorry about that, guys. We had a quick little sound issue right there. The Matrix was attacking, but we're back up right now. Um, just my opinion, 1399, ladies that don't want kids, how does it feel knowing someone else makes a sacrifice to bring forth your nurse, doctor, lawyer, and all the sims? You, you take their things and put them in the friend zone. Uh, okay. So okay. Oh, my God. Chaos order. Okay. Why would a girl that cheated on me violate a protective order just to try gaslighting me, even though I saw and took photos of her, the cheating text? Because she's crazy? Uh, okay uh nurse milady my friend ekg shows st elevations on okay uh this is for you right here yeah okay miss miss nurse it goes my friend ekg shows st elevations on lead two lead three and lead abf i need your help what should i do what is occurring you're basically dying i'm gonna have to covert you for a second but it's fine you'll be fine okay at All least right. it's not an afib all right Cool. Cool. Uh, Yves is going to weigh in on that. Make no mistake, this is the official rating for tonight's episode. Okay, starts with Sydney, who is right here in South Africa, right? Um, no, he gives you a, Karen. Oh, sorry. He's giving you a six. He's giving Ackland a zero. Natalia a five. Why? Miracle a three. Christiana a nine. Bridget a three. Shannon a six. Milady four. Juliana five. And this nigga said Karen zero. <laughs> Any of you have a response back and to And you them? spelled it wrong. So. Karen? Hey, I rated it. It's spelled Kevin differently. Samuelson. He wanted me an eight, so I beat that out. Yeah. Love Any that. of you have anything you want to say back to the best of honest? Hey, man. Yeah. Opinions uh, are like I'll assholes. I'll accept it. That's great. Do you want to see him? <laughs> nigga, what's no. your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a ratchet panel of ladies, so this is actually uh, really oh, good. Right. Uh, not one per. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll give him a two. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Two uh, question for ladies: What's the red flag that secretly arouses you? That's a good. That's a damn good question. All right, we'll start right here with Miss North Carolina. Give us a secret that uh, secretly turns you on by a guy that is a red flag. Guamo. A man that eats ketchup. <laughs> As a man, why do you use ketchup? <laughs> oh, um, weird, you say? No, one red flag that one turns, red flag turns you on. That turns you on. It could be something along the lines of he's controlling and tells me to shut up, but it turns me on. We can There's... say that, yes. Okay. How'd I know? <laughs> all right, Myron. Uh, yeah. Uh, Myron. All right. What about you? What 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 is a, a red one flag that actually turns, turns you, on you on secretly? He's very touchy. Okay. All right. Okay. Miss Hungry? Overprotective. Oh, you can't travel. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, okay, no, can't, you can't make this shit up, man. Yeah, you can't. You, you got to stop the travel. I pull, mean, pull it, of course, that thing, like, uh, I don't want to explain, but not that sense. Um, Eric, can you let Miss Columbia know just so that when we get to her, she knows uh, what the question is? All right. What about you? Um, possessive. Okay. Aggression. Okay. Control. Okay. If I block him and he finds another way to contact me. <laughs> Yo, That's that is hot. hilarious. <laughs> All right. That's some real okay, shit. Okay, right? yeah. Th thank you for being honest. I would say control. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> okay, Miss Columbia. One one thing that's uh, a red flag that arouses you. Our translator is saying it. It's coming in, guys. Una cosa que me gusta de un hombre en secreto. A rojo flag. Rojo flag. I don't know you say flag in Spanish. Algo malo que me gusta de un hombre en secreto. All right. Yeah, I got the answer. No. What is? We'll move on to South Africa. She's asking, like, what are examples? Like, what do you mean? Like, que sea posesivo. Me gusta mucho. Okay. Controlador. Control. 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 Why do I, why can't I go to the club or what do you mean I can't do this or what do you mean a guy can't be but I, he doesn't want me to be a hoe whatever but all, a bunch of the girls said I want a guy that's controlling. Yo, he <laughs> <laughs> just proves, brother. Like girls say one thing on camera, but reality. But they respond favorably to something else. 
You know what's funny, ladies? I just are honest though. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you all for being honest. Because so so check this out. There was a study that was done right a couple of years back, and it found that women don't really know what they're aroused by. They they say they like certain things, like you said, you like a nice guy, which we laughed at you about that. But what women are aroused by are actually things that they're never going to admit to a lot of the times, right? And and um, I always say all the time, women don't necessarily know what they want. But this study proved. That. I don't want to go into the details unless you guys care to hear it. But um, yes, what women are attracted, what they say they're aroused by, and what they actually are aroused by are two different things. Or what they say they're attracted to and what they're aroused by are two different things. So anyway, um, you got some more chats here. Yeah, more chats. Asagi. All right, cool. <laughs> Chris, what the fuck? And then, ladies, we're going to turn it to. I know some of you guys had questions and stuff like that, but we're going to turn it to y'all for discussion points here in a second after I finish reading these. Uh, so come name. up with something. Have something. Uh, and then, Eric, can you let Miss Columbia know that it's gonna sh- it's, she's gonna have a take? Cholo ASF. Can says, the ladies name name the constellations? Right, bro, ain't nobody gonna name no constellations. What? On <laughs> uh, William Rogers, y'all ladies, oh, it's because they believe in signs. That's why. Yeah, I don't even know the stars. Uh, y'all ladies all look for the same man, six foot, six pack, six figure income. What do y'all bring to the table for said man? Oh God. Yeah, well, we, we discussed that. Yeah, we think, yeah. I'm sure my shot at Shannon. If I DM you, will you reply? Let's keep it real. Who Shannon? Me. Who? You see a her. Picture. DM me and see. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. There you go, <laughs> guys. If you got your Instagram reviewed by me and you put up the par, she might respond. Or you got the chorus DMs on the man. But until then, bro, it might be an L. Yeah. Mm. And how much longer are you guys in Miami? I'm um, until Sunday. Okay, so make your move now, Miami niggas. Oh my go. god, guys, look at that one, Blackest Panther. <laughs> I mean, that's that's next. Oh. No, <laughs> my official ratings are in, and that's from three hundred four Sandman. Four, we five, six, six. Angle, yeah, we don't know what side. angle, what you mean, bro. Um, 20 bucks from Blackest Panther goes, is the Ugandan red flag red? This sister is all red flags. Also, Myron, why do you always leave out Wakanda when you list the countries people are watching from? There's a large <laughs> representation from Wakanda. No worries, though. My brother, sorry, I did not mean that. Uh, wow. Okay, Alex, uh, I don't care what anyone Alex. says. <laughs> Sneak on DJ Ack. We're uh, lit as fuck. I laugh my head off. Very entertaining. Yeah, man. It's all about entertainment, guys. Mine's BBC. Someone get that white woman away from fresh. He's starting to <laughs> he's starting to get weak in the knees. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, fresh, can we get the... <laughs> fresh? <laughs> the, 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 that's all, folks, at the end of the show. Uh, and then we got 20 bucks from Bilal. Red Matt goes, climate change is real. Shorelines are receding, and so is Myron's hairline. Fresh looking darker than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> then Miami Beach has got you looking like a burnt potato effing up for life. Okay, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Niggas got jokes, man. Oh, See, you guys, they make fun of us too. Y'all can't get mad. Like, they roll sex too. They roll sex too. Yo, too. man. <laughs> yeah, that's not what your girl said, bro. Yeah, uh, shit. Uh, 20 bucks from James Lewinsky goes, shout out to FNF. Y'all are out here changing men's lives, bringing masculinity back in a feminine Western society. Love from Kentucky. Hey, bro. Uh, we're trying, man, but feminism is here to stay, my friends. It ain't never leaving. Mm-hmm. Uh, David Wright goes, if a woman can keep a man happy and make him stay put, she is high value. If a man is successful, he is high value. A woman that is proud to publicly hand uh, and hand be hand in hand with his woman, she is a high value man, or he is she's a high value man. Uh, I think you, he must mess up. Yeah, he, yeah. What he's trying to say basically is it's a, it's on the woman to keep the guy. Uh, the girl pop smoke chain. <laughs> you got school on Kevin Samuel's live. Please don't repeat. Ooh. Did you? He roasted you? What happened? No, I did not. I did not get schooled. I just, you know, like I chilled. He didn't say anything wrong. He didn't say I wouldn't get a million dollar man. He just said I would have to share him. He still said I was above average. I was a very pretty girl because, again, like I don't have any kids. I'm co- college educated. I'm under 200 pounds. Like I hit all of Kevin Samuels' boxes and Kevin Samuels DM me. So, miss me with that. Like I didn't, like I didn't lose out on anything with that. And I have a man. And he said I had two years to get a ring, so I still have enough time. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, she's taking his uh, <laughs> lesson seriously. All right, Peter Godfather. Uh, question for the ladies. What part of the relationship does monogamy start and why? Talking phase, phase uh, dating, etc. At raw sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you a real one, nigga. Yeah, uh, okay. God damn. Uh Alvin Sam Myron, do I need to cite the Daily Mail article again about male promiscuity? Ladies, empirical data shows that men are hardwired for promiscuity. Okay. They did a study and they, I mean, okay, a study so to, to, cut to, the wire. for the reality. What? Cut the, cut the wire. <laughs> <laughs> that one. You know what? Then cut the, cut your wiring. Why do you care about status and money? Because rent is expensive. Do you not see inflation? So you got to cut your wiring though. Yeah. So what? our car is going to run on friendship? Oh, uh, there on you love. go. Love but you bills. got it. My dick is going to run on only you? <laughs> Hell <laughs> nah. <laughs> you said you got it like that. So who cares what he got? Like you got it, right? I want to cook and clean. 
You want to cook and clean? Yes. That, I, <laughs> that's coming from a millionaire. Listen, man. <laughs> I mean, hey. yo, I'm t- I don't yo. know if you're being a thousand percent real, but if you are, shout out to you. I mean, no, bro, she, if you click, like I post, cook, I cook every single day on TikTok. She has like, no reason I'm, why about that. I'm yeah. really Damn. on it. All right, cool. That she has no reason why about that. I just feel like those are basic things to just survive on your own as an individual. Like if you can cook I mean, for yourself. I cook from cook. scratch. Like I have this big thing here, and though. everything has you to be organic. Hell yeah, I'm African. You think my you think my mom's gonna let me not cook every day? Yeah, but you over told your pounds. Every day it is a cultural since it Okay. But you are over 200 pounds. So if you actually made food, then it's like, come on now. I was 200 pounds from being over. birth control. Like, I'm Elite. not. I, hey, man. But again, like, I, I could get to 200 pounds. My money, vegan. though, and That's my success, though. You know I mean? Right it's now. Not your African, you'll be in a what? No, never mind. <laughs> Yo! You see, you ever just hear somebody that likes to talk to dog? I mean, I know that's what they say about me, but I am, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> Uncle, you like to talk to dog, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you, right? Hey, man. The whole night. Come on, you <laughs> come, see me. Come, come on. on, come on, man. Come you on, do it. But I feel like my money and my success are like an insurance. Like you know what I mean. Like you get car insurance, but you <laughs> okay. don't plan to get in a wreck. You know what I mean. Like he doesn't plan to ever say, "Babe, I need help." If I'm there, yes, if it happens. But he's never fucking calling so me and asking me for anything. Do you date for emotional security or financial security? I have financial security, so I but I require it because I'm so, not going to take care of a girl. Do you date man. for emotional security or financial security? It's both. I have she a baseline. You. She has a baseline, but I'm asking her if that okay. The same. The emotional security that I'm finding is only of men that have a couple dollars. I'm not looking for emotional security in a man that has nothing. Because what is he? You got to think of it. If a man only makes forty thousand dollars a year, he can't feel. And he's working. <laughs> he's no. He's working eighty hours a week, and I'm making X amount of dollars from fucking TikTok. When he gets home, he don't want to hear about how I made TikToks all day. He doesn't like we're, he's going to be feel like he's going to want to hear that whether he got money or not. I'm just I'm, I'm just honestly asking you what you're dating for security. She answered already. Man, yeah. you talk, talk, man. Next. Amen. <laughs> I think she's trying to figure out like, here's the thing. What I did a broke man. No, it's nah, not, it's not only that. Man. I think she's trying to understand like um, you're a successful woman. You're strong. You're ambitious, etc. Why are you regressing to being a housewife or having a f- female duties? That's what she's trying to get at. And my thing is you might not be this way, but. A lot of women, if, if you ask them what would you prefer, to be a boss in charge making money or have a strong man that's a boss in charge and you submit to him and you live under his roof and he takes care of you, most women are going to go with the latter. Now, there's some women out there that want to be in a leadership role with their man. Sure, but that's an exception. Most women want a guy that's a boss and in charge. Yeah, so yeah. what I say is that if a woman finds the right guy, she's going to want to defer to his authority. And just, I think that's what she's found. Well, yeah, I'm not negating her for that. I'm just saying that there was no point in even bothering to be a boss bitch if you knew what you wanted to get. I mean, a, I was a, a boss before him. That's the but I, uh, I just wasn't able to submit prior because I was dealing with men that did stupid shit like leave the door unlocked. And I wasn't able to be in my feminine power because this dumbass is about to get us robbed. Now I have a man that is aware of his surroundings because I lack that street, that street mentality. I lack situational awareness. I needed a man that was aware of everything going on around us so I could relax and I could fucking bake cookies at 7 a.m. I wanted to bake cookies. Now I may buy the groceries, but at least like, you know, you know, it's very interesting. (sighs) They've they've, uh, found this out, too, that typically um, even, you know, women that are very competent that go into career fields and they make money, lawyers, doctors, whatever it is, as soon as they have children. They start to switch and the family matters a lot more than their career did. And what I've come to realize is that women typically generate happiness from family, children and being around the people that they love, not necessarily a career. They actually did a study on this and they found in Ireland, thanks to COVID, right? A bunch of the people left the workplace and were at home when it was time to re-enter the workplace. They found that most of the women, you know, over 60 percent wanted to stay at home and take care of the people that they loved versus entering the workforce. And I would always say most women work at a necessity, but if a woman's able to stay home and take care of the kids and tend to the home and deal with people that she loves, her loved ones, she's going to pick that, man. That's the truth. Most women work because they have to. I think, yeah, no, I'm not negating. I'm just honestly asking, you know, if you got it, you know your limit and you know that you're beautiful, you meet all of Kevin Samuel's requirements, you having your career doesn't even matter because you already met the boxes without it. What I was simply asking was like, you know, what's the point in even vetting and talking about your Forbes success if that's not even necessary for what you need in your relationship, you want to cook and clean and make cookies. You got that already. I like having Forbes on the counter. Like, fuck it. I like, mean, yeah, I, I'm not knocking. But I mean, that you got to remember those accomplishments came before the man. Though. Yeah, I'm not even knocking. That I'm just too. saying you if that was your end goal, if you've always been looking for a partner who has a certain financial status and, you know, like I'm saying, you yeah. have what you need and what you want. I'm just kind of wondering 
Do the two work? Like, I was bored, so you know, I ran yeah, up man. a bag, made ten million. Like I said, I'm but, not going to knock a woman's But hustle. again, like my goal was to always. I lost a child in 2018, so oh, my God, goal, sorry. my goal though was to have a child and sit at home and mm-hmm. you know find out that we own, we're not using Dove soap because there's toxins in it and shit like that. Like that's what makes me happy. Shopping at Target and taking a trip every single month. So yes, I build up my half a million dollar man to three, four, five million so that I can sit back and do absolutely jack shit. It's cool. Yes, I love I love the money I make. I'm very grateful for the position. I've inspired thousands of people. But I didn't like I just did that. It's cool, but it's not like my end goal. My end goal is to bake cookies and support my man. If I do that making millions on the side, that's cool. But it's not like my you know, I don't want to be 40 doing it. I think I think um and this is this is an opinion. I can't really I don't have studies to back this, but what I've come to realize is that typically women chase status and money to find a man of status and money. Men chase status and money to be able to have an abundance of women. We we chase the status of money for different reasons. So a girl thinks the more status of money I have, the better man I can find because these because I'm gonna have to go to school, I'm gonna have to compete and deal with these men. Versus like with a man, it's like, all right, I'm gonna make more money in status, so I have more options. So women are looking for better options, men are looking for more options. So we chase money and success for different reasons. And when we do achieve that money and success, that's where things really change. The woman achieves the money and success. I got the guy, all right, I don't care anymore, blah, blah, blah. The man, you know, achieves the money and success. All right, cool. I got one girl. I'm going to get as many as I can. So that's what I've come to realize is the difference between men and women chasing status and income. So this right, is a got, fact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sure I mean, like, your I'm, career probably put you in a position to even meet him in the first place, correct? Well, yeah, I met more. I met men with more money and more of the things that I wanted and the schedule that I wanted by being that woman. You know what I mean? Okay. And plus, like, he didn't want a he didn't want a bottle girl. He wanted like that girl with all those accolades because that's the opposite of what he is. You know what I mean? So he enjoys coming to my little shows and watching me speak. I'm right. sure he enjoys coming. All right. He all right. does because I yeah. ask him. <laughs> Okay. Uh, a society that tells a broke man he doesn't deserve a woman has no right to tell him how many he can have when he gets rich. Oh, oh shit, bro. Shit. That's profound uh, right there, my friend. Don't the smoke. The smoke. That's that's facts. Like, yo, real talk. Society does say, yo, you a broke nigga, you don't deserve shit. So when you do get the money, you should be able to do what you want. My I, young Lee. I don't got time for the skills that you bring to this. That's what my young Lee. Shout out to you, bro. Who's he talking about? Who who what's, what's he talking about? I don't got time for the skills. Probably probably blue dress. Okay, he'll clarify. Oh, no. Um, okay, we got Big Smoke, a society that tell. Nope, read, the, read that before. Uh, we're going 15 up, right? Yeah, 15 Or should up. we just turn it to the ladies right now? Uh, Chris? We, we got no, a bunch no, of here. Okay, Miss Premed, I call BS. The salt smothering hypergamy seen in hospitals and private practices is obscene. Your experience does not reflect reality. Within critical care, the women have seen more bodies than Arlington Cemetery and the Holocaust combined. This fucking nigga, bro. Damn. He's a doctor. Um, who's he speaking to directly? Miss Premed. Premed. Who's in, pre- who's in Premed? Here, couple. Well, no, you're. I'm a nurse, but I'm not. In... No, she's not in pre-med. <laughs> Zentia, what are you talking about, bro? In particular, I think he might have mis- mistaken I mean, one I of the girls. I had a pre-med background, and I said that. I don't know. Okay, I think he's talking about, about you then. Oh, yeah. I was like, I don't want no pre-med. Um, <laughs> if you see, they sit quiet when you say that they want uh what they want, but as soon as you say what the man want, they lie about themselves or insult the man. To get what they want it's like give me everything and they will give nothing but ass sad smh okay curious minds want to and that's from, yeah curious yeah uh three diglets goes how do you get on forbes do you apply somewhere yes so i applied i applied and was nominated for forbes next 1000 and a panel chose me to be an official forbes lister and then i got endorsed for forbes 30 under 30. so it's not the same as a publication it's literally the most respected thing so okay yeah all right, uh, two hundred bucks from Angoa Egosa. All right, you contact me to get on Forbes three diglets. That's how, my friend. And that's from Mister Durden, Doctor Durden. Who's Doctor Durden? Okay, that's some kind of insider joke I missed. Uh, idiocracy personified by three or four thinking they will be more attractive to men as they age. <laughs> High value men want a legacy, which means even if you uh, keep up with your looks, your mind and uterus will still be old. G- uh, geriatric pregnancies and collective trauma are liabilities. God damn. Yeah, that's um, cool. that's very true though. I mean, and this is from Jason Fredrickson. Uh, five uh, was well, five hundred bucks Argentinian. He goes, "Thank you, FNF, without your insights and rollos on how women think and what they want, uh, it would have been impossible to find the girl I have by my side now. She's beautiful, twenty-two years old, wants a family with me. She is naturally feminine. It is incredible to know the difference between a real woman and the soon-to-be leftovers. Thank you, times five thousand. I appreciate that, my friend." <laughs> Yeah, just so y'all know, I went ahead and made an entire playlist for you guys on our YouTube channel 
uh, called RP101 with all of our videos with Rolo Tomasi that you guys should probably watch and uh, really memorize. You know, so check them out. It's at the bottom of the of the YouTube playlist. Um, so let's turn it real quick to the ladies. Uh, ladies, do you guys have any uh, topics or discussions or questions or disagreements or whatever it may be on what, what, what we talked about today? Uh, Eric, can you? I got one. Oh, I got one. You got some? How much do Before you, you feel? Do. Before you ask, because I'm glad that you got something. Real quick, Eric, make the announcement for the people um, on the party. So, guys, real quick, uh, quick little break here. Eric's going to make an announcement on our 1 million party. Go ahead. Hey, guys, how are you? Um, so, we're officially launching our 1 million subscriber party uh, link, and uh, it should be coming up on the screen. Um, it's going to be... Um, exclusive guys so first come first serve go ahead and uh press the link and hopefully we'll see you at the party it's 500 for the first 20 the price is going to go up as uh, the amount of attendees increase we got to keep the party exclusive we got some celebs pulling up some big youtubers music artists djs etc guys so um we're going to have uh, uh, hundreds of girls there as well so we're going to do a free meetup with you guys in a public area you won't have to pay a dime to meet us We'll probably do that for an hour or two. Then after that, we're going to go to the party. If you want to come to the party, you got to pay the admission fee. I, I tried to figure out a way where we can do it for little yeah. to nothing, guys, but there's just no way around it. Y'all want to have a mansion party with alcohol and chicks and all the other stuff? Yachts. Uh, yeah, yachts. Who are fresh. Uh, and sorry. We're in Miami. So we're in Miami. But day ones, man, we got on the yacht first, goes to the mansion party, so we lit. So day ones, we got y'all, man. Cool. Sorry. Go ahead, please. Hi. Back to the show. <laughs> living for this intro okay. music how much do you feel like submission costs in 2022 oh like like from the man to get that submission yeah how much do you feel oh, like submission lot. costs do you Me, feel like it's a hundred grand half a million how well, much does submission cost it's going to cost way more than just the money because we know a lot of guys that have money that are simps yeah. and they can't control their girl you know what i mean like their girl walks all over them even though the guy's a provider and everything but he's a pussy can't it's, put his foot down it's almost you have to be a full package you got to be a full package just to get submission yeah you got to be you a complete be package in, in any area you got to have your money on point you got to be attractive you got to hit the gym etc and i would argue what instagram has done is this made women think that there's an abundance of higher status men so what's happened is that they have a perception uh, a skewed perception of reality and they think that these guys are all over the place but the reality is they aren't but the girls still operate as if there's a plenty of these guys and they're going to hold men to that standard so to get the best out of a girl you have to be the best version of yourself as a man yeah. so submission doesn't really have a cost it's more of like uh well, it's a complete package yeah. payment essentially Full package yeah cool yeah I mean, think about it. Your guy, he might have not measured up to you financially when y'all first met, but his status was higher than yours. Correct. Right? And he has certain characteristics that you find attractive, right? He's a street he dude, so he's masculine. inherently going to be more masculine, right? So men have to be a complete package. If you only, I always say, if you're deficient in one thing, you're going to have to pay for other you things. You overcompensate in other areas. So let's say you have money, right? But you're a fucking sucker. She's going to bleed you, drive that money and make you feel like shit and step all over you, probably fuck other dudes or whatever. But let's say you're broke, but you're extremely masculine. She ain't going to respect you. Uh, she's going to, you know, potentially look at other guys or whatever. So your, your retention is going to go down. So as a man, you got to have so many different things checked to be universally attractive. In order to get submission from a woman. Yeah. yeah. Especially nowadays where women are more masculine now than ever. Make their own money. You can't tell me nothing, nigga. All this bullshit. So, and that's the culture that we're in. But not every woman is like that. I mean... I, I've been that person, don't get me wrong, but again, that's because the man I was dealing with was so feminine that it's like, you have to step up to the plate. So, I mean. Yeah, but the reality is the majority of women are over-masculine. But and the right a, man will humble you from the from mm, moment you meet them. Yeah, but here's the problem. Like, the thing is, is that a lot of women are conditionally submissive, which is a problem in itself. I mean, what if I told you I wear dresses on Saturdays and I only act masculine when I meet a really feminine woman? Yeah, it's weird. Be ridiculous, right? I pick and choose when I want to be a man. So my thing is women are naturally masculine. And it's like a guy has to be like over the top masculine to be able to, you know, curb her masculinity. Whereas like, and I'll give you guys an example. When we were in Romania, right? We didn't deal with that whatsoever. I didn't hear girls like acting wild and rambunctious and crass and rude and loud or any of this shit. Saying nigga. You know, yeah. You, like I didn't see none nigga. of that. The women were just naturally ladies. What up, bro? But here in the United States, you got to be damn near an apex male to get basic submission and femininity from a woman, which goes back to what you were saying before. This is why a lot of guys are going to Brazil, Colombia, um, Thailand, um, all these countries where the women are traditionally more submissive. And typically they go to these poor countries because the poor the country, the more people start to revert back to their natural um, gender roles. And not to mention the girls, sadly to say in Miami, they'll be with you tonight yeah. and then somebody else tomorrow on a yacht. 
vice versa. In Romania, those girls, once they're with you, they ain't, they ain't leaving you for nothing. Yeah, so it's like, a, there, there's a little bit more like they take that shit a little bit more seriously. And then the other thing, too, about Romanian girls or girls in Eastern Europe in general or these other countries is you're not going to run into fat chicks over there. We actually had to search. We didn't find a fat girl until about 11 days into it. Yeah. And we had to like look for her. Versus like the United States, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. get off the airport, there's fucking whales everywhere, dude. Yeah, so Justin, Justin made a bet with us. Yeah, we said, lost. Try to find a, a woman that's fat in Romania. It was tough. It was very difficult, man. But so, it's also because it's not only because there's less wealth there, but also your food here is really unhealthy yeah, and everything terrible. is so sweet. Okay, but terrible. I mean, let's have some accountability. Who decides what they put in their mouth? Gotcha, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying like it's not only because of that, but it's also like the food here is not. Once again, does someone put a gun in your head and say, yo, you better eat these fucking cakes? No. <laughs> it's, it's not even like junk food. It's just any sort of food I find in America is cooked in a lot of. But even if you're trying though. to eat healthy, like the EU actually bans 200 like ingredients that are allowed to be added to food and the US bans two. But so you it's like accountability. You, you're picking up that food because I live a but super you don't know clean what life. You pick up here. Yes, I do. You, there's apps. There's simple apps you can use to scan the barcode at the grocery you store. It tells you exactly how many okay. calories are in it. Like yeah, yeah I mean, that's not about the no calories. Seed. I'm 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 talking but about I'm, like, I'm yeah, coming from a shit. person that does no seed oils, no toxins. It's just you have to just make the elective choice. You have to go. Okay, to okay then I'm I'm trying to say it's like it's easier in Europe because so, it has less. Life isn't are, easy. You okay? So this isn't the oppression Olympics, but at the <laughs> end of the day, too. You're right, because food outside the U.S. is healthier. And also, too, you're in a different tax bracket than most people. Your mm -hmm. diet is not the same as the average woman period and on top of that the cost of food is high the cost of living is high everything is high right you all are in a different bracket than most average men like you literally just said we five. weren't always though i, I mean the, the point, wonderful the point I, i'm is, not denying that is that you're right food outside the u.s is better but at the same time we're just saying you have a choice to make you do and sometimes the choice yeah. you make is or also food. exactly but it's also what you can afford at the end of the day women who have more money and have more options can also have the choice to invest better in themselves they can get a trainer they can go I get feel like surgery. You're targeting her no i'm not targeting her i'm just also providing a reality check your delusion i'm just saying like straight up not uh, even to be finances are not excuse yeah in romania like, they're even poorer they're even poorer and they're yeah. not fat so it's like you know we got to have a little bit we have the most yeah. resources the most food yet people and people are, you know, the most information out there for free and people are still fat. So I'm never going to make excuses for fat people. All I'm simply saying is that going back to your thing is when we were in Romania, um, it was a stark difference between them and American women. We didn't find fat girls. The girls were generally m way more pleasant, way more f feminine. And here in the United States, you have to really become like a top tier guy to get basic feminine traits from women, which is why I can see why so many guys take their passport and go elsewhere. Yeah, facts. And Whole Foods takes EBT. Girl. Fair enough. Anybody else had anything before I go back to the chats? I want to make sure the ladies get their points or disagreements or anything. Or all right, we're good. <laughs> it's already been three hours, so yeah, uh, yeah. the Triples. surgery she was talking about in the video is plastic surgery and liposuction to make herself look younger. Okay, I've noticed if you date uh, ambitious women with the intention of marriage and you're more ambitious than her, she's more than likely to fall into your lead. If you're that guy, love the hustle, gentlemen. Thank you so much, Triple Hills. <laughs> Uh, Miss Double Masters confused about biology. Miss Maynard fighting like a Black Friday shopping spree over a few hundred dollars. <laughs> All sus. Ladies, listen to Myron. This is your exorcism from the possession of the Matrix. This society has made you sociopaths. That's from Jay Martin. I don't know if they're going to listen to me, bro. Uh, I think they're still going to say, fuck that. No niggas is going to cheat on me. Uh, konnichiwa, players. Watch you guys while walking the streets in Tokyo on vacation. As always, dope content and fellows travel and see the world will make you realize how the dating market in the U.S. ain't looking so hot for value slash tradition. Sheesh. I understand. Send you all the way from Japan goes 8,000 yen. Ladies, for example, take the women who, uh, who is with the rap artist. He wants to keep her uh, since she is bringing that femininity to the table with her action in the home he will not take the gamble by telling her if he is out there smashing other ladies there you go that's very true he ain't, be, he ain't gonna say i'm gonna just lie to you baby girl i don't lose you man come on man i care about you hey man tap for tat. uh have any guests told you that they learned valuable info after their meetings of course yeah yeah a couple girls helped a couple girls get married actually too mm -hmm. jason
All right. I think we're gonna. Uh, yep. Wait, hold on. You're about to be on. Alright, uh, because it, it reads me and Chris. And yeah, alright, now I'm back. I'm back live. Alright, all right. sorry guys about that. If woman has IG, that's boring, that's private, limited followers, e close family, equal, thumbs up. Yes, my friend, I agree with you. That's what most guys like. Um, uh, say social media for women, following four, uh, following 4,000 followers, 300, 1,000 posts, all memes, one selfie that's too hard to find from two years ago. <laughs> that's your, that's your uh, answer right there from Super Chat. Uh, that's actually hilarious. Fresh, if you and Miss Blue Dress had a baby, I've got some baby names y'all should try out. If it's a girl, Midnight Eclipse or Licorice, and if it's a boy, Petroleum Charcoal or Coal for short. <laughs> <laughs> Eclipse is pretty, I'm not going to count. Your best one is 50 bucks. Nurse Milady, your answers was incorrect. Oh, my friend just died, and it's all your fault. I will be reporting your license to the state. Oh, this my is a good God. Bro. I know it was wrong. I'm not here to answer none of the medical questions. That's not my job See, right now. You feel the test, man. Wait, aren't you a nurse, though? Yeah, you I feel understand that, but I'm not here to answer those questions. That's not... <laughs> I don't really but sh care. But, sh but shouldn't you know? I do know. I work in a very intense just, ICU. That, 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 That's what I just died. Like, what the fuck? Like... He just he's died, gonna bro. die either way. The answer was that he's gonna die either way. That nigga just he died because of you. AVF, which is what I actually said. Bro, he's gonna die. Okay, okay. I was being a joke, or saying cardioversion to be an ass, but he's gonna die. Damn. Yves, was it? Was that true? Is it, there was no saving him? No. Um, well, all right. Uh, all right, cool. I think we're uh, last one. Doctor Matt Ros uh, Rostami, MD. Nothing raises the body kind of woman faster than a trip around the world. Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Eric. What? Well, okay. What? What's up? Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that uh, right now it's saying that the tickets are are unavailable, but it's because we have too much traffic going to the website right now. The oh, tickets shit. are still available, and if you have any questions, you can uh, DM me on Instagram at real Eric the Great, and I'll get back to you. All right. Cool. Wait, Eric wait, wait, and Anwar are handling uh, all the tickets. Do we hit the limit already? Because um, someone's emailing me right now. So, um, oh wow, literally yeah. just made the announcement. Okay. Um, yeah, y'all niggas crashed the site. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. You guys go, crashed go, the site. Go, go, go. Um, yeah, the guys. Um, Eric will be handling it. We're gonna reboot the stuff. We did not expect that to happen. I guess a lot of people want to come to find. Uh, says from Australia, one million party. Come on, ticket for the one mil. We're <laughs> flying from Australia to see you, champions. Hey, what see? happens? Shout out to you, Shimmy. Shimmy, think about that shit fast, bro. Yeah, hey, man. Shout out to y'all, bro. Um, yeah, and don't worry, man. Um, Eric and Anwar are handling the party. They'll they'll get this situated. Uh, event bright crashed. You guys literally crashed it. So shout out to y'all. Um, we love oh. you guys too. Dr. Mo says uh, he was having a heart attack. Take him to the cath lab. Yes, he can be saved. So no, he did not have to die. You have anything to say back to him? No. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't oh, come here shit. to answer medical questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you in medical though. It doesn't matter. Wow. Why do I have to? It's like asking her about her job. Why do you have to go? Like, why, why do we have to go into our job questions? I'm here to answer questions about other things, about society, about relationships, about love, about whatever. Okay. I don't really yeah. care if he, gets, if he wants to take me <laughs> to a cap lab. I don't care. Okay, so uh, side note, your nigga's going to die. Like she said right there, she does not care, bro. Yeah. I do not okay. care. No. The God oh, said you're a loved one to her. I don't really care. Okay. No. All right. So ladies, uh, last thoughts on the show. Hate it, love <laughs> it. You put Lurse. What are your, your, your comments here? How's the show for you? Super interesting. Um, I think as an international it was really nice to hear from American people and their perspectives. We had a bunch of South Africans in here that agree with us. You saw yeah. to me Australian. I don't know why. But I, I'm not. I'm not saying that they aren't South Africans. I'm just, just saying like different accent. sides mm -hmm. that I, I haven't heard in America. Oh, I may cry, Kay. And I'm so bad. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> and it's like a lot of Americans don't want to have the conversation about it and it's not an open conversation. So yeah. I've enjoyed it a lot. Fair enough. Um, yeah. I mean, this is how guys typically feel in, you know, English speaking, Western first world countries, even if they're not English speaking, you know, anywhere where feminism is fairly strong. This is how a lot of guys feel. I mean, you guys saw, you guys saw the South African uh, supporters in here as well. So Start reading the chat. I, I, it's just annoying. This is why I didn't want to mention I'm a nurse because right, this here? is what I get trashed on. Yep. Here. 
Mar? It's un- really annoying. Oh. Uh, I don't really care. Nurse Melody is a horrible nurse. My friend was having a heart attack. You were supposed to tell me to contact 911. So he gave rush the hospital to the cath lab. I sent an email to Ron DeSantis. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not Ron DeSantis. He just, just fucking with you. He just fucking with you. But it, <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I ain't gonna send an email to the governor. I like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he paid fifty dollars to say that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. right. He said I need them to read this. They could literally send an email to the fucking governor. Hey, you got this nurse that's on the freshman <laughs> podcast. You don't want to answer my questions? <laughs> Yo, the best part is that's actually fucking funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, All right, funny. fantastic. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, but here, Eric, can you? Oh, Karen. Damn. Um, yeah, Eric told her. Damn, that's how y'all feel. feel. The so, place is super good. Okay. The oh, really? ambient, the people, the attention is the girls. Mm-hmm. Super chilling. Gracias. Oh, <laughs> chilling. Do you, do you understand half the show? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. She was just saying that like. Oh, Pero tenía sí, miedo. Sí, 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 sí. Tenía super. miedo al principio porque mi inglés es un poquito limitado. Poquito. Entonces, poquito. Sí, un po- no, un poquito, no mucho. Eric, Eric got the translation. Pero Go ahead, please. Okay. Good, good. And yeah, yeah she, said, super bien. she said that in the beginning super. it was a little tough because of, you know, the language barrier, mm-hmm. but she says that she feels really good and she actually enjoyed it. Super bien. Did she understand the show? Uh, and then, and then look at Stalin, said, a little bit. Sí, pero sí. me da mucho miedo la pronunciación. Yeah, a little bit here and there. Aquí, ¿ya? Yeah. En público. Fresh, you know Spanish, nigga. I do. Let the language <laughs> do it. I, I can understand. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. What about you? My lady. How was the show for you? Um, <laughs> Very interesting. Besides the, the nurse jokes. Yeah, that's very disrespectful because okay. we need nurses, but I don't need to answer any medical questions. Okay. Um, but overall, it was very interesting, very intense. Um, I was happy I came to. I saw you agreeing with a lot of my points. Yeah. Yeah. I was just very quiet. I'm very quiet, mm. process minded person. And by the way, you have a secret admirer. Uh, may or may not be, be verified on Instagram that uh, might want to take you out. So just so you know. Oh cool. shit. I, won't, I can't see on camera, nigga. No. Fuck. What? <laughs> but nothing. Okay, cool. Next. <laughs> we'll hook you up after. Yeah. yeah. Man, we, we be send session I, all the time. I'm saying this right now. W Wingman Fresh, bro. I'm the best wingman in the world. Just saying that right now. All right, cool. Don't want to embarrass us. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, she will. <laughs> she a nurse. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga going to cardiac arrest. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yo, uh, nigga, fuck that you, man. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, you talking? Uh, that dead, bro. You dying, nigga? Okay. Uh, all right. What about you? Um, I think it was a really good experience, and I'm glad like, we were able to have like an open and respectful conversation. Like nobody got out of line or anything. Um, Thanks for that, by the way, ladies. Round of applause for y'all for being respectful to the platform. Yeah. Appreciate that. Because we had a oh. bunch of ratchet ass chicks uh, the other day, and that shit was annoying. Oh, so Lord. thank you. Cool. Mm-hmm. You have anything else? Um, but yeah, that's it. It was it was a good experience, right. and I'm glad I kind of see like male's perspective on things why is for 20 years old <laughs> round of applause to ladies for you know being respectful even though you guys disagree with a lot of things i said what about you miss kubana are you going to take your man back now maybe yeah <laughs> buddy that's what we're talking about <laughs> no it was a good it was a good podcast it was very eye-opening mm-hmm. and um and i i <laughs> appreciate the ambience cool. that we can agree to yeah. disagree um, have, have a discussion with him have a discussion with him yeah do it nigga said, serious <laughs> nigga said hearse lurse <laughs> Put him in a hearse. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think I think it's worth a discussion. You know what I mean? He, he might have not wanted to tell you these things, but I'm so I guarantee he was maybe. operating from that framework that we're speaking about. You know, uh, he, he probably cares about you more than these other random hoes he's fucking. I promise Facts. you, you're the mother of his children. Yeah. What about you? Um, it was great. You know, great exposure, great conversations. You know, I live in La La Land, so if you guys, <laughs> if so you guys funny. would like to learn how to sell online, make I'm sure you guys La La check you. me out. Wealthy <laughs> college, <laughs> wealthy college kid on all platforms. I teach a free webinar on teaching how to sell online every single Wednesday, and make sure you guys stream. Say that by on point, like OP. Thank you. Cool. Actually, what? we need to listen to some of his songs right now. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, should. I'll, Could I'll, you I'll put stick up on? No. Oh, we, we, we would, <laughs> but copyright. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, yeah. No we'll, we'll play in the studio after. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to On, on Point. Uh, on Point, like OP. On Point, like OP. Shout out to you, bro. All right. And Ron Suno. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Miss uh, North Carolina? Um, I really enjoyed this experience. I watch you guys a lot when I'm at home. So, oh, really? Wow. Um, yeah, and I agree with a lot of the points you guys oh, made. Oh, shit. Uh, that's the miracle. That's where the silence came from. <laughs> you said You said that's it. That's not good, bro. <sighs> <sighs> what, man? Thank you for supporting. Appreciate it. Miss Hungry? 
I mean, it was really interesting. She's like, fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm not no hoe that travels. No. Fuck she is. Oh, sorry. I mean, growing up, uh, but she was mentioning, you know, like growing up in Eastern Europe and you were mentioning about girls there, like men are different there too, obviously. They yeah. have a different perspective. We are all raised to like marry young, like all my high school Mark, friends are already married and having babies. So yeah. well, not all. Because I moved abroad. No, I'm not living in... I haven't lived at home since college. So okay. like, We can see that on your Instagram. It's all <laughs> the place. You went to Paris, France. Uh, um, yeah, and, and, and I, you know, let me let me also put a little bit of... I know we, we have a whole daytime show where I talked about masculinity is dead in the West a lot of the times. But yes, I agree with you. In Eastern it's European more, countries, the men are more men. Yeah. They understand that, yo, I got to provide for my family. I got to have a job. I can't be yes. some fucking loser. That's so what I mean. The, That's the why women, women are like more like that, too. Yes, yeah, because yeah. the, men, the men understand that there is a duty uh, and performance yeah uh, here it's a little and bit more skewed just yeah I mean you know I obviously didn't agree with many of the things you guys said but I think we can agree to disagree so alright well you don't have to agree with reality that's okay <laughs> uh, I'm just telling you the truth and you know if I say one plus one but is it's two it's your truth like you know I live in La La Land with her okay alright at least she admits <laughs> that she lives in La La Land Facts. <laughs> the ladies remember there's just one truth you can either appreciate it or not but the truth is objective my sister yeah go ahead Kind of, um, me, I had a good time. I'm just vibes. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Said a bunch during the show. They say nothing about that. All right. And then, uh, her whole life is just crashing right now. She's like, wait, what the fuck? Is my boyfriend fucking another chick right now? Yes. <laughs> it's been two months. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed the show. Um, Thank y'all for having me on here. It was a very great experience. Shout out DJ Detox because he's really that guy. Detox, Shout out Detox. Yeah. Um, we yes, love sir. Fresh and Fit, y'all too. And all the girls up here, y'all are so beautiful. So I had a great Thank time. Thank you, gorgeous. Appreciate it. Wait, okay. uh, Detox. Love the energy, Queen. Thanks. How was your energy tonight? <laughs> It was good, DJ Detox. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. I can't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> you hosted it for being bored. <laughs> nigga was like, where was your energy at? Uh, yo, shout out to Detox in the back. Um, yeah. All right, cool. You got so, uh, guys, uh, check me out, Fed1811, my other YouTube channel where I break down criminal cases for you guys. Jeffrey Dahmer episode up right now. Um, check out Fresh on Freshman CEO. We're live on Megaphone. Um, what else here? Party. Link is going to be back up. Hit up, uh, you know, Eric, if you guys want to go to the party and or do a consultation with me, 10 minutes or fresh. Um, it's expensive, guys. I ain't going to lie to you, and I'll read these last two chats. BS Nurse Milady, if Fresh has a heart attack right now because of his di diabetes, you need to be able to spring into action and know what to do. DeSantis replied back, he'll deal with you first thing Monday morning. This nigga, bro. And then Karen Former from HR goes, Double Masters is trying desperately to shame the woman who cooks for her man. Yeah. Pathetic, and yet more proof that education doesn't make you smarter. Damn. Okay. Damn, this nigga really shooting shots. Yeah. All right. Um, anyway. They're bored at home. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's okay. They're going to come to my to webinar. On that? Oh, yes. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Go ahead. What? What was that, Chris? Uh -huh. No, uh, comment. Go ahead. Oh, please. yeah. I just want to comment. All the night in my world. City light. Oh, come on. All right, All right go come ahead. On. Let her comment, bro. <laughs> now I'm having a comment. That was funny. <laughs> no, okay, that was funny. Yeah. All right, guys. We love y'all, man. Check us out. We'll be back on Monday. Uh All the night.